there. All right, let's see if it's working. I should have tested it before I hit go live, huh? No, it's fine. That would have been the easy way to do it. Test one, go, one, go two. Go <laughs> press the volume. Sounds yep, good to it me. Works. Good job, Penny. David says, I thought Vito couldn't do the show because he had to go to a Magic the Gathering tournament. He's right. Bullied him out of it. Why am I here? Why are you here? I could be playing Man, Magic the cards with my boys. Is that what you guys call each other? Big, at the Magic? Big Duncan and Who are you shitting Marty on right Hood. before we start? Wait, who? Marty the Hood. You have a guy at no, your... I'm Marty make, the Hood. I'm making... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he, he, he always hood. wears a big hooded cloak, you know, because he's the dungeon uh, master. Oh, uh, yeah. You call you disrespect your dungeon master like that? Call Why him would Marty I call the hood? Make fun of him like that? It's not that? to make fun of him. It's that it's 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 uh, one of his prominent features. You give people nicknames based on their prominent features. Okay. Like how everybody in the magic community calls me Big Dick Giswaldi, <laughs> you know. <laughs> because you're an asshole. Because every time I win a game, I whip out my huge penis. And I just slap it down on the table, and I go, that's what happens when you Eat mess. Eat up, boys. Eat up. Eat hearty, boys, me boys. <laughs> yeah, planes, Eat up, me hearties. Planes walk this, you idiots. You did that at, oh, in Magic the Gathering? Magic the Gathering, yeah. Wow, you play penis magic, like in South Park? Mm-hmm, cock magic. Some fucking idiot said that my Sergeant Slaughter was just a ripoff of PC Principal. Oh, no. He said, why don't you just kill yourself, <laughs> man? So you didn't like PC Principal or yeah. what? Is that what you're saying? Oh, such a derivative bit. Who? What other show is doing? All right, man. Sergeant yeah, it's a Conan Sla- O'Brien bit, you <laughs> shithead. Actually, that's where I ripped it off. Conan O'Brien, not South Park, you fucking Philistine. Although, if you, I, I, there was one person who left a comment. I don't know if they're a normal listener, if they just somehow stumbled upon it. Cause yeah. I, we put it up as a clip. Yeah. And their comment was basically like, I don't get what the joke is. Children, non-binary children exist, and they just want to be, and I'm like... Oh. That's the joke right there. You <laughs> nailed it. <laughs> they I were need like, a rhyme. I need a rhyme. Uh, Wet sleeves well, and some of pet these. Peeves. Pet peeves. Well, what was it? What were Wet last week's sleeves, problems? free market haters. Horrible problem. Shut up. What was the... Wet sleeves and uh, hoarding D's. Okay, that's there you go. That's terrible. Good rhyme. I did the fucking rhyme. <laughs> All right. So I'll do the crime. <laughs> Biggest problem in the universe. Welcome to the biggest problem in the universe. The only show <laughs> that ranks every problem in the universe from what oh. sleeves to hoarding D's. <laughs> Nuts. I'm your host, Sick Masters, and joining us, oh, joining me as always, is Vito Giswaldi. Hi, Dick. Good rhyme. Hoarding D's. Nuts. Yeah, you nailed it. Hoarding D's. Nuts. Nailed it. All right. Well, you come up with a rhyme then, that quickly. Green beer and <laughs> well, I mean, too many can, queers. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Cancel. Cancel. I don't Great satirical know. rhyme that you we would never say. You have the list of problems in front of me. I don't remember them. You don't remember? Reparations? Rhyme that one. Okay. Uh, Blacks having money. Blacks with cash and... Uh-huh. Uh, green on your ass. Washing your Washing ass. Washing your ass. Yeah. yeah, okay. Whatever. Terrible rhyme. You ready? Yes, bro. Who big upset last week in the problem? <laughs> Fuck you. Washing your hands with long <laughs> sleeves, I'm Vito. I'm, done. <laughs> I'm quitting the show. This is it. I'm done. I go. I research an entire, you know, topical. Me too. News story. I get all the facts and figures. Always topical. Pick washing your hands with sleeves. Goes, you ever get like wet hands? The hands are wet, and then you get on your sleeves. And everyone in your audience, bunch of fucking gibbering monkeys. Everyone in my I audience. One time I wash. Yeah, your audience. The Vito files did not vote for that. That was all they dickheads. Don't they don't do anything. Yeah. They just sit around complaining. And I know they probably stumped. they probably just banged on their keyboard and accidentally hit the fucking vote button for the stupid wet sleeves. Vito problem. files love thinking of pr- arguments that are only one step yeah. in front of them, and they can't see further than the, they think. Free market haters, great problem hoarding. Is good, like is good in sp- capitalism, and then you say, "What about hand sanitizer?" And their heads explode. I hate you. So much. <laughs> this fucking show is so stupid. Washing your hands with long sleeves, <laughs> number one, because it's a big problem. <laughs> yeah, it's really knocking them down. I hope that goes to number one on the list. Reparation retardation should have been number one. Um, 
No, because everyone in this audience loves black people and wants them to have more money so they can buy cornstarch and eat it for some reason. <laughs> I forgot about that whole, uh, yeah, there's been a whole week of black people cul culinary techniques has been wow, you guys the topic really of discussion. Wow, you guys fucked up that white lady's spice thing, huh? <laughs> she kind of wrecked your whole world, huh? Yeah. Now we know about the cornstarch shit. Uh-oh. For those of you who aren't aware, there is a video of a white lady who made some chicken. Yeah. And the black community, black Twitter or whatever, Ooh, was like, yeah. Ooh, look at this. White woman don't use oh, no, no they spices. Did not. That is, I <laughs> definitely disavow that, what you're doing right now. What? That is, that that's is. That's how a, they sounded in the video I watched. That's what she sounded like. That does not She's matter. She's going, look at this white bitch don't use no goddamn I, spices. And I was like. I saw the same video and yeah. they're like, actually, we, this lady. <laughs> He's not using any spices. Oh, that's at true. All. That was that video. Yeah. yeah. Actually, in the black community, oh, my name is Idris Alba. In, in the black community, we use uh, spices like this. Spices Sp are so <laughs> spices <laughs> are so important. Oh, you call that a black the cooking <laughs> of poultry in the African American. And, oh um, man, they really fucking stumped themselves. <sighs> big win for white ladies this week. There's a big argument over who cooks better, white people or black people, and it has become a very contentious, slightly racist. Uh, no one's eating. Fight. White people aren't eating bricks of cornstarch. <laughs> I know that. Okay. So, what is that? I don't. I didn't watch those. I saw this. I saw a thumbnail of a black woman about to eat a spoonful of cornstarch. Why, uh, I, bro? Just for fun. I need to be on Rumble to answer that question. <laughs> I can't answer that. <laughs> I, I can, that be our, can that be our new go-to? Be like, th th I'd have to be on Rumble to talk about you know that. I, maybe I'll be on Nick's Nick's uh, Ricada show mm -hmm. tonight. Maybe I'll explain. Well, you it can there, explain why I'm they're eating corn on fucking YouTube. For washing their chicken with dish soap. That's or, normal. That's not normal. <laughs> See, it's me or Hispanic. That's a Hispanic in you saying that's yeah, normal. Well, Hispanics, yeah, we throw it in the dryer. Yeah, it's a washing machine. I dump all my chicken in there. Throw right, a couple little Tide, Tide pods, pods in. Yeah. Put it on the heat. Got to really cycle. get that chicken clean. All right. So number one was washing your hands. Reparations. Number two. Yeah. Free market, free market haters. haters. Another great three. problem that I researched. You should have just said yes. The hand sanitizer is a big. It was Whatever. okay. Fine. All you have to do to win is go. Yes. Yes. My problem is actually yes. Hand hand sanitizer I think, hoard, I think hoard away i i am a believe as a leftist i believe you can have a system and the system can have checks and balances that's retarded there can be regulations <laughs> and the system will still function with common sense exceptions to yeah. the rule when uh when has that ever worked where a system has had checks and balances and it worked out no system works we're all fucked it doesn't matter and uh, last not place, drinking on Saint Patrick's not drinking Day. on St. Patrick's Day. So at least you came in dead last with one promo because that was Damn, a terrible promo. It doesn't cancel each other out. Because it's kind of your fault for not buying beer. Uh, Lambertar mm. says the problem with Mario 2 is that this is about our bonus episode. The, the biggest pro problem in Mario. Yeah. The problem available. with Mario 2 is that Japan made it specifically for North American people because they thought we sucked too much to play the real Mario 2. Same thing with, you know. What did I say in the bonus episode? That somebody was going to try and give you the history of Mario 2. And he fucked it up. He did fuck it up. And guess what? Oh. I'm not going to correct it because I <laughs> hate hearing the true story of Mario 2. I don't know, man. I'm getting, I'm getting like that little like thing. that Roger Rabbit. That, that, well, that feeling haircut, when somebody when yeah. won't correct the information. I'm like, oh, but you got to say something. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Two big. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know what you're saying. Um, Rev, All right. go to patreon.com slash biggest problem to get the bonus episode. And back dot buy yes. slash biggest problem. I don't know why I'm the one more promoting your stupid little thing. Unseemly when I do it. Okay. Uh, Rev enough. said you could visually see the expression of Vito ex accepting defeat for his Girl Scout cookie problem when he was asked about the hand sanitizer hoarders. Shut up. I did Very not accept true. defeat. Very I think the free true. market can have regulations and still be a free market. Oh, it's odd. <laughs> it's not odd. It's literally fine. If we had a complete, um, we're not going down. There's a whole other problem. Free, There's a whole other problem. Let's just sell poison. Let's sell poison to children, we and the free market do. will correct it. We do okay, sell poison, you're right. and sell it to children. Good, yeah. you're right. Let's give every kid a Tide Pod and a knife. Well, they a kid can go to the store and buy Tide Pods. Right. I don't know if you don't know that, but Sometimes they children can. can go to a lot of places and buy poison. Sure. They can buy bleach. 
I don't know why There's you think that's impossible. There's other stuff they can't buy, and that's good. Why? I'm glad that a kid can't buy a gun, because that would be weird. <laughs> why are you glad about that? Because if a six-year-old kid going to get six hundred dollars, I don't know. Maybe he finds it on Daddy's night table, and he walks into the gun store. You think Daddy's and, not going to have a gun on that night table? <laughs> I just, I just think if a kid walks into your gun store and wants to buy a gun, you have a way to say. No, I'm not going to sell a gun to a six. You had that already. Yeah, but just saying no. <laughs> yeah, well, you can also just do it illegally. <laughs> I'm okay with some free market regulations, but they don't work. They work. They're working now. They're what helping keep name, the entire system from collapsing. One that works. I, 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 not the gun one because that does. I just disproved that in false, debunked false it. False advertising is against the law. That's good. Like that what? Allows. Like Gatorade having those big fat broads and yoga outfits doing? Look, I'm not saying that there aren't ways around certain regulations, but clearly the regulations should be strengthened rather than weakened. Oh Jesus! I can't go. I can't Dio go Smeo. on eBay oh, and you know, Alan well, Smith. Forget it. Oh, Fuck Adam this. Smith. Uh, just get can't to go on eBay and what sell anything because they can just say go, oh this is working fine and then sell it and it turns out it's a big broken box of pieces and I go oh buyer beware I can say whatever I want and that's the free market well no you have to uh, you know properly label your goods and you have to have a list of ingredients on in the back so nobody gets you know uh, oh yeah everybody's real oh, nobody these, with allergies look at these fucking ingredients the people oh, with yeah. allergies need that uh, to make sure that they don't have fucking a fucking epileptic attack or fucking eat a peanut by accident oh, peanuts are in this beer oh man I well maybe there that. are peanuts in that beer and people would know if it's on the label so okay um <clears throat> ryan gay says Vito should set up a kickstarter for hair plugs i know i'd donate money well i, I mean it would be funny <laughs> it's not dubai i figured out it was turkey turkey, turkey. Yeah, that's what i said that's not what you said yes it is play the tape well, then maybe it's not turkey. I gotta look it up. It's fucking turkey. I gotta look it up right Why do you now? think I don't remember it? I read that whole dumb article you sent and looked up like a bunch of guys that were doing before and after. I need this. I need this part. Hair plugs right here in my head. Mm. Just like three square inches of hair plugs right there. Let me see. Here. Take it from this side, maybe, because I got too much over there. Okay. Vito's Istanbul, not Turkey. Where's Istanbul? Well, it's not Constantinople, I'll tell you that. Oh my God. Uh, on the John says the Who back black faced Who bit was hilarious. I could see it getting you out of so many different situations. <laughs> like what? Like <laughs> awkward dinners, <laughs> business meetings, or Thanksgiving. <laughs> you're in a you're in a business meeting, it's not going that good, and you go, I gotta go to the bathroom real quick. And you come, come out in here with you me. Come, no, no, no. You come. You, you got to bring two guys in. Yeah, yeah, it's always two guys because you fight over who. <laughs> this did guy it. put it's, blackface it's, on me. Because then, if you, it's better if you get a guy that doesn't isn't in on it. Because then you yeah. blackface him and blackface yourself, and then you can run out and play it up. And he's telling the truth, but it's like, who's the imposter, yeah. right? Like he fucking blackface me. He grabbed me and took me in there and put blackface. And he's like, no, that's not what happened. That happened. That guy did that to me. Like, he's oh, fucking that's what he would story. say. He's fucking stealing my story about the blackface. I knew he would do it. I knew he would do it. I even wrote it down on a piece of paper before I went to the bathroom that he would do and this. Flip over the piece of like, paper. It does say this on the piece of paper. He goes, what? That's because it's his plan. He's like, that's not Look what the paper Look at his backpack. Said. Look at his backpack. And there's a bunch of like pictures of black guys, you know, to like test yeah. makeup on. Uh huh. It's like, why would he have that if he wasn't testing his makeup skills? All right. It's a perfect bit that I don't know we if, invented. I don't know if it's a perfect bit. But do it at graduate kids. Do it at graduation. <laughs> graduation. Come out on stage. Do it at graduation. And say the principal blackfaced you. So <laughs> you have to start fighting though in <laughs> earnest. Yeah. Like you have to fight for a little bit before someone grabs you and then you start spinning. <laughs> yeah, it's just one of those classic bits that everyone knows. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think it happened in Costello did the Who Blackface 2, right? Yeah. yeah it's what only happened in who? Costello. Who Blackface 2? Well, who? who's the one that did the blackface? Well, who did he blackface? Tyrone's exactly. on first. Exactly. <laughs> Reggie's Tyrone's on second. playing point. Mm -hmm. Guard. I don't know any basketball terms. <laughs> Neither do I. Young said, uh, I don't know if you've been told. Oh, I think he's doing Sergeant Slaughter. Hold on. Let me see, do I have I don't know if you've been told. Oh, I don't want to uh, do that. Uh, this one. Here we go. Studio mode. Wait, who? Uh, I don't know. I don't. <laughs> wait a minute. Get in the frame. I don't know if you've been told. Vaccination helps the old. Okay. All sound right. off. Sound all off right. for all your vaccinations, Vito. No. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven. I don't have any vaccinations. I have two vaccinations. That's it. Leave me alone. All right. I should get Um, triple vaxxed. Thanks for reminding me. This is from Mr. Magic Al. Here's a vote it down. You can mention to Vito about demographic dummies, trends in demographics. It's not just snapshot data. 65 years ago, the USA was 90% European. Mm. Get it? In the bathroom? Uh, today, huh. it's 60%. What do you think about that? Oh, is for that, demographic is dummies. That a white erasure? Is that what's happening? <laughs> I don't know. Ninety-eight <laughs> percent was in British was yeah. European, and <laughs> today it was mm. today it's less than seventy. How well, that, we're all interbreeding, so it's still. Oh, that's that's yeah. pretty fast. Uh, French ninety-five percent today it's sixty percent. Hey, a that's, lot of breeding. That's an ups. That's an upside. Get that French blood out of this country. That's a lot. That's a big change. That is a big change. <laughs> How are there so many French? Well, go go. Gadget. A lot of different groups have come here for good reasons. You know, good reasons for whom. Well, uh, a lot of Germans were escaping the war in the 40s, so that's Nazis. good. Nazis. No, not Nazis. Oh, Jews. <laughs> I would th- mostly Jews, probably. You know, some other Germans came over, though. Check that foreskin. I was reading door, an interesting you know? uh, article, you know, that we used to actually have a lot of, like, proud German identities in this uh, country. You know, you'd be like, oh, there's the German district of town. And then World War II hit, and everyone's like, I don't know. I'm not German. I'm just Tom Sikowitz, and I like to have fun and drink a beer. Oh. So we lost our we lost our German communities thanks to World War II. Uh, that's a bummer. Uh, I'll I'm just address. The, I'm looking for the Dropbox. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Say. I'll address something I heard on the Dick Show, which uh, we had Chrissy Mar on as a guest on the show. Yeah. I thought it went fine. <laughs> I think some okay. people wanted us to like I don't know get into like a fight or something. Yeah. Oh, sorry, 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 but sorry, but sorry. I was like I was like I was like I don't know if she's gonna be a guest on the show. Yeah. Good. Yeah. You know. Uh, anyway, so what afterwards, happened? are you fighting now? No, we're not. I don't know. Maybe we are. Cause what do you okay. call it? She had a stand-up show and she said to us, "Yeah, it's gonna be at an Elks Club, right?" Elks and I was, Lodge. Elks Lodge. And yeah. I was like, "Oh, that's cool. I love going to like an Elks Lodge, like a nice." Right. You know, a little whatever you want to call it. You nice. Know. Nice like little area. Yeah, place. something that's been there for a while, like a cool yeah. hangout for old nice guys or whatever. Nice stuff happens there. So she's like, so come to my cool show at the Elks Lodge. And then the night of the show, I'm like, all right, well, let me see where this place is. And I go, well, that can't be right, because I brought it up on Google, and it's just some yeah. dude's shitty house in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> That has been dressed up as a bar and has, like, a stupid Uh, sign in front that says it's a fucking the Sunset Lodge or whatever. Right. And I was like, I don't know. Should I go? And then I looked at more pictures, and there was, like, five seats at the bar. And I assumed it was going to be all, like, fucking plastic lawn chair seating or whatever. And I'm like... Yeah, it was. I got. Was it? Was it plastic lawn chairs? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Okay. I was like, you know what? I got some work I got to do. Okay. Oh, you had to do work at home. I did. What were you working on? I was working on Super Killer, to be (laughs) honest. (laughs) Okay. Not to be anything else. And so I I don't know. I felt bad. But then you said you were at the bar with her, and I tried to rush over there, but you guys left too early or whatever. I didn't get. I didn't get your text in time. Anyway, the narrative point of this. The point didn't come. The point is, yes, I flaked because I'm a piece of shit, but also it was a shitty venue. And then Chrissy Mayer, I guess, and what was this? She went on, who are these podcasts? And she said that I'm afraid of her. Or Maybe I'm, you are. And I think Carl suggested I'm afraid of women. I because am. Because I didn't want to go to a shitty stand-up uh, <laughs> show in the middle of fucking the ghetto of Pasadena. <laughs> I mean, Pasadena's all right, but... Oh, uh, they were washing chicken at that place. How, how, how sanitary was that? It looked like the shittiest shithole venue. It's just, a, it's just a box. It's you not, go, to, li- you it's go a, to a party there. What are you talking yeah, about? it was like a shitty, scuzzy house party. It wasn't a house party. She told me it was like an Elks Lodge, and I was like well, excited. It wasn't, but why, what do you... You need like this nice, like... You need like the Titanic rolled out for you to okay, go and see a lem, comedy lem, show? Okay, also though, like, I hate most, like... like like, I don't know who was on. How good was the comedy? 
Come on, don't say something like that. That's how good, crazy. How good was the stand-up, really? <laughs> Chrissy was fantastic. I'm sure Chrissy was great. Chrissy was great. But I was going to have to sit through four or five, like, it's oh. Monkey Monroe here to bring the laughs. And he's like, got, the like, worst it's thing all, like, 50-year-old dudes doing, like, terrible fucking stand-up. <laughs> there was no 50-year-old dudes. Was it young guys doing the comedy? I think it was mostly women. It was oh, a lot of women comedians. <laughs> I really missed out. I just... I just was like, you know what? It's going to be a shitty show. As I said to you, I was Why like. Why would you say this? Why would you say it's going to be a say, shitty I show? I'm sure Chrissy was fine. I'm sure the rest of the show. How was Chris, How was, was she? Was she, she was fantastic. Was she great? How was everybody else? They were also there. They were, yeah, they're also there. All right. So. Uh, they were great. What I'm do you to say? The, the theory it's that a I'm. a comedy show. Okay. It's not all ama- it's, it's it's a comedy show. People are doing real things in real life. There are friends that you know there that you can interact with and build this gay community that you were complaining about sure. not having the very <laughs> prior week or next week. I get it. Okay, look. Maybe I should have went. But why didn't you go? I didn't go because it was looked like a shitty venue and it was going to be shitty like local stand up. I don't th- I don't believe when you. she said it was like I thought it was like a cool show with like a bunch of like, you know, her buddies or something. It was like, no, it was a shitty bringer show in a shack full of, with like a bar with well, five seats selling $50 like, you cocktails. Gone to something you just don't you go to you want to go to Friday Night Magic, but you wouldn't go to Chrissy. Bayer's I would show. much rather go to Friday Night Magic. <laughs> Then and again, not because it's a Chrissy Mayer show. I will see Chrissy Mayer. I would. I should have went to like see her at like the fucking comedy store or something. That would have been oh. nice. But it was just some fucking shack in the woods. It's funny. It looks. It would look terrible. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I don't think that's why though. You think I didn't go because, because I'm intimidated? A, a, well, because you just didn't want to like. You know, well, I also be in that bad blood. Like I don't know if you are mad at me and it's uncomfortable like that. I think that There's, had something was, to do with it. I talked about that. I don't know if I talked about it on the show where I was like, I don't know if she actually wants me to come or if it's just like a polite nicety or whatever. Of course she wants you to come. See, that's the weird, that's the thing you have to get over. That's sure. the thing I don't think you have gotten over. Okay. Maybe you didn't go because the venue wasn't up to that your was, standard. I would have went if it was a cool venue. Like, that's the thing is I was like, well, even if Chrissy Mayer hates my guts, at least I'm drinking at the fucking Elks Club or whatever. And instead it's... <laughs> No, just some the sunset shitty lodge. The sunset lodge. Yeah, the Don't sunset there a long time ago. But our show was at some kid's backyard, and that kid was throwing yeah, up. Yeah, but that's our the- show, <laughs> and we're scumbags, so that's fine. But what if Chris? And our show sucked. No. <laughs> See, now you're just now you're just being negative to cover your ass. Yeah. You should have come. Carl Spitali was there. Was Carl there? Star Wars girl was there. Wait, Star Wars girl was there. Yeah, I, no, well, then, then it's I good. Said, I didn't go. I, I think she definitely her. doesn't like me. I mean, I don't think she likes me now either. Oh wait, why did you? What'd you say to her? <laughs> well, I walked. She was. She's hot, right? Yeah. So I was like, who the fuck is this hot bitch at the uh, woman at the bar yeah. all night? And then I walked over to say like, oh, good job to I don't know Lila Hart or something. Okay. I think. And uh, she said, "You're Nick Rakita's friend, aren't you?" Yeah. And that annoyed me a little bit. Uh, so You're like, Nick Ricada's my friend, bitch. I said, okay, I yeah. made him. I said, yeah, who are you? And she goes, I'm Star Wars girl. And I said, oh, my God. Uh, you're so much hotter in person. <laughs> I mean, you're hot online. Don't get me wrong. You're hotter. You're hot online yeah. in person. Hotter. Oh, oh, oh. I, yeah. I said something like that, and then yeah, no, she doesn't. And like I was you. like, all right, I'm gonna walk. I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead. Okay, so I should have shown up to be awkward around women and make them hate us more. That would have been good. Yeah, they love that shit. She's probably fucking finger blasting it out, even as me retelling this story. You're right. Ba, 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 right ba, ba, I guess the moral of the story the is I'm afraid of banjo. women and confrontation. And that, yeah, I think and you I, are. I'm not. I tried to go to the bar afterwards when you texted me. You guys left after like 40 minutes. Because it sucked. Yeah, well, the venue probably sucked, and the bar probably sucked venue more. Sucked, but it was fun. Was it fun? Yes. I don't believe you. Why would it? Why would a show not be I've fun? Because I've been to so venue? many shitty stand-up shows. You just gotta listen to these terrible jokes and. It's the venue. You keep saying shitty show, but the venue is. If the fun. venue sucks, the comics at the venue usually also suck. Usually, yeah, but because this they can't is get Chrissy from out of town, they have to get D-rate guys or canceled losers like Chrissy and. <laughs> I'm just fucking around. That was a joke. That's a joke. I'm just fucking around. Anyway, I'm not afraid of Chrissy Mar. I like Chrissy Mar. She should come to uh, Philadelphia. Oh, well, the venue's you know, nice, at least. She'll have that to she go. Can, she can 
Carl's yeah. there, her actual friend. Carl Spitali and uh, no, Carl. Who are these podcasts? Yeah, well, yeah. they like it. Yeah, they're all fans of uh, Kumia and you know. All right, was this your <laughs> big like setting the record straight? I don't know what the. Do you I, think well, you I just said it straight. I, when I hear people on a podcast going, Vito is just intimidated by strong, powerful women. And I go, I just didn't want to go to a shitty stand up. Yeah, but that's why you have to. So they don't say that, they don't right. get that narrative. Next out time there. I will torture myself by going to one of these. That's why I said that to Star Wars Girl, because yeah. I don't want to get it. I don't want it getting out there that I'm intimidated. Next time she's in town, I'll go to the. Well, I got to get the dates. I'll go to the comedy store or whatever. I'll go to like a nice. Club or something. I don't want to go to the Sunset fucking Lodge. It looks like shit. <laughs> and I had shit to do. Oh yeah, I it. did. I did. So shit. many, so many reasons. Fuck you. Whatever. All right. Uh, point is, Dick. You know you it's got. Time for well, yes, it's time to vote it up. Uh, okay. Just like Andrew Tate, you want to be manly So vote it up before I go and kill your whole family we got to see who wins You know our master sin Go do it or I'll chop up all your limbs What you going Oh up? yeah up. Before you make me get up I'm going to go wow. kill your mom Vote it up Before you make me get real sad And I shoot your dad <laughs> Biggest rotten dot show Oh my god That's great Wow the bar has been set very high by fat the audience. Lip, I think that was. that was Fat Lip, and uh, God, I should have crumpled up my. Gonna page, have to look though. up who sent us that one again. Fat Lip. Yeah, but who sent it in to the show? Oh, that's not his name. No, his name's not Fat Lip. It's the name of the song. <sighs> I'll Another bring mess up. up again. Another oh, screw up. Fine. Malort. Malort sent it in. Malort sent it in. Well, thank you, Malort. Wait, I think. Yeah, Malort. All right. Oh, man, I have Vito's Twitter, too. Fuck. God damn it. This show's got too many bits. Well, Dick, here on Voted Up, we talk about past problems, which need to be addressed. Of course, you remember the problem of the gas stove ban. Yeah. Which is currently taking place across our nation. Well, now New York is getting in on it, as New York state lawmakers are poised to enact the nation's first legislative ban on gas and fossil fuel appliances <laughs> in most new buildings, including single-family homes. Now, what's interesting is New York will be the first to take the step through legislative action, where California and Washington have done so, so through building codes... Uh, These proposals face opposition from fossil fuel companies, business groups, and home builders. We're getting fucked in the mouth in New York instead of up the ass, <laughs> right? Yeah, at least at it's least like it's a law. they gotta like make a lawns that are just like creeping it up on you. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, it's the building codes. We, we can't have weed we in your house. We updated the building, of a building codes. Code. Yeah. Okay. So uh, New York's climate law has mandated steep emission reductions in the coming years with a goal of achieving net zero emissions by 2050. So they're not just going to take away your gas stoves. Uh, they're going to chop off your fucking hands, buddy. And you're not going to you're not going to be able to make any emissions. I know. I remember a lot of people telling me how crazy and dumb I was for thinking they were coming for your gas stoves. Who told you that? When was this? Liberals. <laughs> well, it's like, all right, well, <laughs> I mean, I know that they're coming for the gas stoves, so. Well, they're making Fuck exceptions you. for uh, restaurants, though. That's at least a step oh, forward. that's nice. So, so if you want to decently. If the power's out, I can always go down, walk down to the <laughs> bodega <laughs> and eat their cat, throw it on the stove. <laughs> Stop ripping on bodegas. Don't vote up bodegas. Vote up the gas <laughs> stove <laughs> ban. We, we did play this between every voted up that you have. Well, do you have the other ones that were in the you know, I'm saving those. All right, I'm not going to do that. That's <laughs> I'm saving those. For what, a future gets show? Because everyone excited, and then they pump them out, and then yeah. you play them all, and you're like, oh, shit, now I got none. Well, don't forget, you can send in your stingers to biggestproblemshow at gmail.com. Yeah. Another great problem, probably one more pertinent to... <laughs> Been talking about this one recently. A celebrity bands from episode uh, 55. Uh, well, interestingly, journalist and musician Tim Poole announced earlier this month his band Timcast has had their entire music library uh, removed from Bandcamp. 
The singer says he believes he was targeted for his political views, but it's more likely his music was pulled because it sucks balls. <laughs> uh, thankfully, Tim Cast has brought us a new single, which dropped, I believe. That's right, Vito. That's right, Vito. That's right, Vito. I've been persecuted against. I've been persecuted against because of my because by talking about the financial issues and the war. Uh, probably some trans Tim, activist. Might be, Tim, maybe, maybe, come on. Vito, 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 Vito. There's nothing that brings my. There's nothing that brings the right more together than no. my music. There's nothing that brings the right more together than my I music. I don't think. Are you ready for the Civil War? Vito, are you ready for the Civil War? Oh, the Civil Vito, War. It's always the Civil promo War code, with you. Promo code TimCast to get to get yeah. five bucks off your beanie, your apocalypse beanie, and your coffee. <laughs> and your quarter and coffee, use five bucks off the Tim, five bucks I off think $50 price tag <laughs> for the Civil War. Okay. All right. I know the Civil War is coming and the liberals and the whatever else and the <laughs> whatever. Yeah, are you then. ready for the trans Civil War? <laughs> Yeah, you know, they're going after our kids. Um, yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. But when hey, you, Vito, do you want me to play my music? Do you want me to play my music right now, Vito? Vito? Do you really have to Vito, play do you, the do music? Do you even understand what what we're at? I'm a disaffected liberal, Vito. Yeah. You know, okay, I know how it works okay, on both sides. Okay, sure. I know how it works on both sides, and I know we're I know we're ready for a civil war. I know there's a total system, so systemic collapse. So get your credit card out and give me five dollars. <laughs> okay. Now get ready to hear my song. Get you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? What's, the, what what's the name of your song, Tim? Uh, uh bright eyes. Bright eyes. That's ironic, Vito. Do you even know what that is, Irony? Bright eyes, bright eyes. It's about the it's about the loss of innocence. It's about my personal loss of innocence okay. that I had while writing this music. Because I was writing this music, and halfway through, I realized this music fucking sucks. But I still have to write, write it anyway. Yeah. I still have to write it anyway. What am right. I going to play? What am I going to play guitar for my chickens for the rest of my life? No, I got to get it out there. I got to get it out there. You I got to get it out there. Fight it's like, the civil war. I got to get it out there. I got to I got to jack this music off, and I got to come all over the audience. Okay. Okay. Are you ready to listen to this or what? It's called bright eyes. To, it's called bright yeah, eyes. All right. It's bright then eyes. fucking play it then. God. Well, hold on. <laughs> God damn it, Tim. Are you ready? Yes, I'm okay, ready. Okay, okay. Jeez. Son of God, a God, I got you. <sighs> right. I'll have a civil war right now with you. Okay. I'll have a civil war with you right now, Vito, oh if you don't let me play stops. my music. <laughs> okay. You can play it. No okay. one is censoring okay. you. Just okay. play okay. the music. Okay. Okay. Don't get all yay on me, Vito. Don't get all yay on me. I'm not get- Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. It's called Bright Eyes. I know what it's called. Just fucking, this is, and you always do this. You just talk forever. Just play the song. Stop stretching it out to try and make your YouTube video long enough to fit a million ad breaks on it. Oh, you're onto that, huh? <laughs> yes. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ready? Ready? Yes. Ready? Yes. Don't think about good music. Now, just think about the way. Okay. Think about the way society is. Okay. I'm thinking think about, about the so way. Don't I... think about music. Don't think about music for inter- entertainment or connecting with other people. Think about how bad society is. Think okay. about how bad society right. is. Okay. Okay. Think about me, a okay. guy. Think about Shane Cashman. Think about Eliza Blue. Okay. Ready? 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 Here we go. Here we go. Re- oh, were you? What were you thinking about? <laughs> What were you thinking about? I, don't know. I just gave you a little teaser. What were you thinking I'm about? Thinking, Tell me. I'm Tell me about. I'm gonna kill myself if you don't play this stupid song. I swear uh, to God. Okay, here you go. It's nice, like a All nice right. warm beanie. Okay. No. Okay. No. It's okay. gonna wrap around your heart. A nice warm beanie wrapped right around your heart. Okay. I'm so glad they banned you. Okay. From- how was that? <laughs> a little bit more. A little bit more. Now, what I was thinking about when I wrote that part of the song was the Civil War. <laughs> yeah, the Civil War. The coming Civil War. Are you ready for the Civil War, Vino? Are you ready for I guess I don't know. I thought I was, but now I don't know. I don't know. Now you don't know. You got to stock up. You got to stock up on beanies. You got to stock up on food. You got to stock up on munitions. Is this the music I'm going to get during the Civil War? Because if so, I'll I'll just kill myself to start it off. Good. I don't want to. Good. I wrote this so liberals' heads would explode like in Mars Attacks. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That was the point. For guys like you, pedophiles like you, for your heads to explode like in Mars Attacks. Fuck you. Like in Mars Attacks. Remember that movie? I remember Mars Attacks, yes. That was when that was when I was first inspired to write music. Oh when they my would god, play music, the fucking culture would, war is the most would, insufferable that thing. That was the first Just culture play war. The song. That was the first how culture about, war between how about us and Mars Attacks. We we judge your music objectively, okay? If the song is not, good, not possible. We will ju- okay. Not possible, it's good. Alright, we're gonna see if you can win the culture how war. How many followers do you have? Your son- not as many as your exactly, fucking idiot. Yeah, okay, exactly. it's all about exactly. winning the follower exactly. war. Exactly. Okay, let's hear bright eyes. You might want to push on the sides of your head so your liberal head doesn't explode, Vito. Here we go. Yeah, did you hear that? Did you hear that? Did you hear that lead in? <laughs> did you hear that lead in? Look at the look at this. Look at what's on the screen right now, Vito. Just look at okay, here. In spite of everything you knew, in spite of everything, in spite of everything you knew, yeah. I'm still standing. 
Congra- okay. Congratulations. I'm still standing. Tim. Okay. <laughs> I'm still standing. Yeah. So uh, this is this is your answer to the the you were liberal on my mind, Vito. choke point of music. The Civil War was always on my mind. You think this fucking shitty emo throwback trash is going to revolutionize the conglomerized music industry and and shatter the barriers that are holding back uh, dangerous dissident voices like yourself? What barriers? Oh, I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have tons of bar- tons of barriers keeping me down. Yeah, keeping me between your That's money. That's why you're not a huge there's, success. Is there, the barriers? Yeah, the barriers. Yeah. There's barriers between like your wallet. That's a barrier between right. me and your money. And your mom is a barrier between me and getting her money. <laughs> sure. So many barriers. This song's gonna tear it all down. Here, li- listen, listen, listen. Sure. You hear that? You hear that? That's gonna tear it all play? down. <laughs> you hear that? You hear that? I you hear, hear it. that. It's not I mean, the way. What did you think? No, it could be worse. <laughs> <laughs> let's just do the show. Uh, yeah, let's just do the show. <laughs> Thanks, Tim, for uh, letting us hear your new single, Bright Eyes, now available not on Bandcamp. I got a lot more on the way, Vito. If you think I'm done, I got a lot, a lot, a oh lot God, more on the way. I'm going to be like wait. Prince. I got them lined up. I got I got years where the songs coming out after I'm dead, too, about the Civil War and about how the liberals are taking over and making us gay. I got about I got about probably 50 years of that shit lined up, all right? He does have ready, a, you do seem to that. have a lot of similar themes for these songs. And the news. They're holding you down. Okay. They're holding you down. Well, I believe you're the winner, Mr. Masterson. Mm, 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 mm. Transphobia. Well, that's our show, folks. <sighs> Thanks for coming by. What are you fucking t- what? Vito. What? Do you know what transphobia is? <laughs> no, tell me. It refers to. <laughs> I have no I I have no possible inkling. It refers to women um, no. who want to take us back. Do you remember? Let me let me tell you a story. It was 1999, <laughs> and the women's, the women's World Cup was playing mm. on all TVs, and no one cared. Who was in the finals? Was America in the finals? America was in the finals. Thank you for asking. Thank you. And then this lady kicked a goal or something. Wow. And America won, and she tore her shirt off in a way that was obviously staged and focus tested. And I saw that happening on TV, and I said, this is the worst moment of my life. It only gets down from here. Was she wearing anything under the shirt? Sports bra. Nike sports bra. Mm. That was on sale at Target. That's good advertising. Wherever these women shop at. And I said, this is, that's going to be the end of it. That's the end. (laughs) Go on. That's the end of what? Exactly. Us. Us. That's the end of us. And now here we are, Mm. 24 years later, and we finally learned how to fight back against the machines. (laughs) <laughs> and then what happens, Vito? I don't know. I don't think I want to know. Transphobia happens. Uh, Look at this. This oh, wait. <laughs> this unhinged Anna Kasparian, who is an unhinged oh, no. Marxist semen demon. <laughs> Have you heard of her? I'm aware of Anna Kasparian, of here's the Young she, Turks. Here's what she says about trans. Here's what she says. I'm a woman. Sure. Please don't ever refer to me as a person with a uterus birthing person or a person who menstruates how do people not realize how degrading this is how indeed (laughs) you can support the transgender community without doing this shit Mm. actually no well i can't you can't actually i can't actually because kind of the problem trans women are are women women and that's a valid identity Therefore, and fuck you. Ergo, and trans men are men. No one cares about trans men. Well, this kind of <laughs> feeds into that. Nope. <laughs> Part of it. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Go here's ahead. Another, here's another clip that I have from the other side. Mm. Uh, this is from Sydney Watson. Have you? Do you know about her? Do I know of Sydney Watson? Yeah. Do you know about her? Yes. She says this has to stop. 
Females are women. Nobody else. No more opportunities will be ripped from women to accommodate a population of people. Very, very disparaging. Of people appropriating our sex. No more of this. And what's she complaining about? You think it's something huge? Something outrageous? No. That she's complaining, what is she about? complaining about? I don't it's know. It's USA Today released a Women of the Year <laughs> award. Yes. Woman of the Year. Sure. Do you know how many <laughs> Do you know how many acceptances into college and law school were given to women who had lower scores than men? Than men for the last No, I didn't know that. Since that 1999. Actually going back to is 1980. That title, is that Title 9? When did Title 9 happen? Uh I think it's just title simping. Right. For women. So you have some stats here or something? You better believe it. <laughs> Buckaroo. <laughs> Buckle up, buckaroos. Um, let's see here. Here I have a quote. Do you know when alimony was said that women actually have to pay this shit too? Do you know what year that was in? No, what year? Guess. 1997. 1979. Okay. Very close. You know what women had to say Kinda about reversed, it? Yeah. You know what women had to say about it when the Supreme Court Were said mad? this is prejudice? Against mm -hmm. men that you guys have been perpetrating for, like, hundreds of years, right. actually. This is what famous woman had to say about it. It's bad for women. <laughs> Who said that specifically? Phyllis Schaffly. Oh, not Phyllis. doing an equal rights <laughs> thing. I don't know. I didn't really read very much about it. <laughs> Who said that? Let's a just, famous woman. Let's just... <laughs> <laughs> Let's just keep our Which eyes one, on Dick? the prize. Okay. Phyllis Gadfly. This is... Here's why do women? This is from the Federal Reserve. I feel like we're going down a rabbit hole. I this feel from, like uh, yes, we are. We've gotten very yes, far. Yes, we are because okay. the transphobia is an epidemic. It all comes from this, and it has to be stopped. These women cannot go mm. online and spread their hateful rhetoric. There we go. About okay. and their transphobia. Sure. About of about women. <laughs> Trans women who are women. Sure. Okay? I'm not going to sit Sometimes here. Sometimes you do these meta problems, I feel. This is not a meta problem. <laughs> Look at this. Look where at this stat. Where the real problem seems to be something other than the problem you brought Transphobia. Transphobia is the problem. Look at this. Female to male ratio in undergraduate college going on vacation, basically. Look at this. This is what I call the death cross right here. <laughs> See this? Right there is the This is the end of civilization. 1975 about. 1975. This is when the ratio of women to men in college crossed over one, and it never returned. Mm. Do you see this? Okay. Stealing and ruining education for decades. But nights, yeah, okay. Into the future. So women, okay. So you're going to have to, you're going to have to get real specific here. Mm-hmm. So, more women are going to college than men, right? Yes. Now, now we figured out a way to reverse that. <laughs> By turning men into women? No, they're all, they've always been women. <laughs> they just are learning that <laughs> and identifying that. And it's rectifying the problem. In their life and okay. it's fixing this free market <laughs> capitalism that you know well, that you love so much. If you think they've always been women, then there's still a problem. It's still more women than men going to college. Are women who can park? <laughs> somehow, somehow, somehow. I don't know why. They somehow can, they're can able to park their math cars. Equations. They're able to think and not speak a glass at the same of water, time. water tilting at a 45 yes, degree angle. Yeah, somehow, who knows? It's hateful bigotry what women like Anna Kasparian and Sidney Watson both on both sides are saying. Right. And it's got to be stopped. Well, it's interesting this tweet from Anna Kasparian that um, this is a, the Young Turks are a organization which has spoken out against trans so-called transphobic speech on many occasions. Yeah. Figures like J.K. Rowling. Yes, that's another transphobe. Yeah. She's got to be. I, w I will play the video game because she doesn't benefit from it. <laughs> well, but she the books, a little bit. the books ha all have to be burned. No, and no. I'm never going to that dumb theme park because of transphobia. You haven't been to, what do you call it? Uh, I will never set foot in that the transphobic. The wizarding world of Harry Potter? No. You can buy a little wand and wave it around at stuff and the stuff moves. What, like it shoots up? Like. Now there's like little like mechanical things that sense the IR sensor in your wand and sounds like computers. 
It is, it is, it's, it's computer, computer world. world. <laughs> computer. <laughs> There's no actual it's magic. Computering world of computer you can potter. Pay $15 for butter beer, which is just like this horrible sugary drink. <sighs> well, I find this interesting because Anna Kasparian has fallen in the classic trap of believing there's an end to uh, any of this. That you go, well, surely they won't force me to refer to women as people with uteruses. Yes, we will. Yeah, well, of course. I have several to. alternative terms, but you guys ruin them. I can no longer say them. <laughs> now I have to If say. you would like to go back, <laughs> I know that you ladies have a hard time and you want to go back to when women won the, the Soccer World Cup, mm. but it's just not, you just can't go back to 1999, okay? Yeah. I mean, women are still going to win the Soccer World Cup. They're all sh- yeah. just going to have five o'clock shadows. Maybe. It's going to be a great a full game. Foot over the rest Between of the us and Australia, a <laughs> lot, of, lot of amazing <laughs> female athletes coming out of both places okay. these See, days. This is what I said when I'm saying it's kind of a meta problem, I feel. I feel like maybe it's incredible the problem stuff. is not transphobia. Well, uh, we'll send women to Mars, all right. Yeah. I think the, the, the message I want to say to Anna Kasparian is, well, then you don't actually, if this is what you think, if you think there's at any point an end point to Shut go- Shut your uterus hole, you bitch. That's yeah. the message I want to- Well, it means that you don't <laughs> truly believe that trans women are women, because if you did- Because you're a bigot. You would you would naturally go, well, of course we can't just say women because some women do not have uteruses. Some men have uteruses. Not all women have uteruses, actually. You can have a hysterectomy. Not all men don't have uteruses. Sure, whatever. I didn't understand that because I... <laughs> Well, <laughs> if a man is, you know, whatever you want to believe, <laughs> then surely the term person with uterus would be more anatomically correct. And I think that's where the Young Turks fall in a hole is uh, either you agree with that or you don't. There's no you can't stop it. You can't choose an arbitrary limit to the logic. Either they're either trans women are women or they are not hey, women. If women can be doctors, men can be women. Just <laughs> we we all we've been tolerating the term businesswoman for like forty years, <laughs> and we all know what a lie that is. So I guess <laughs> okay, I didn't do it. I love that this problem goes up on the board with no context. So someone who's, is someone uh, who's new to the show shows up and they go transphobia. Oh, that is a problem. They vote it out. Transphobes. And you listen to the actual episode, and maybe there's a little more context there. Vito, you know, these transphobes yep. can't keep their mouths shut. Yeah, and they deserve to be locked up. Sure. Anna Kasparian, the Sid- other one, whatever the hell. Sid- yeah, lock lock her up. Lock her up to J.K. JK Rowling. Put her in a box. Lock her up. Make her in a little tiny prison, a more small prison. Put her in um, Azkaban. Feed them extra pizza so they get they fat say. and then make fun of them all day. <laughs> like, they make fun of trans people. <laughs> Always making fun of trans women. Mm. Always. It's transphobia and it's bigoted. It does seem like the left is currently going through an interesting reckoning where even the young Turks are beginning to grapple with the extent of transgender rhetoric and what it means for the future of discourse. Uh, it means they're bigots. Sure. They're all bigots. They Thankfully, are. we have this show where me and you are the most I am not friendly, bigoted. Friendly, beloved. <laughs> yeah, you got no hate in your heart for anybody. I love trans women. Yeah. And they have a right to exist, actually. And if you don't like them in the bathroom, why don't you hurry the fuck up in there? <laughs> and get off your fucking cell phone, you fucking pig. Don't How you th- about that? Do you think America deserves a woman president? Uh, as long as it's... Uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. <laughs> what, what would be your, your ideal female president? Big penis. Yeah. All right. There it is, folks. <laughs> Anything else you got to add to this problem? No. No, indeed. Transphobia. Transphobia. What a problem. What a horrible, horrible problem. Well, as long as we're on the topic of the LGBT community, okay, here's a topic that is not necessarily just that, but it does factor into it with a recent uh, news story. Uh, you may have seen, if you're a big hockey fan, the NHL's Hockey for Everyone initiative. This, of course, an initiative to promote LGBTQ pride oh. within the NHL hockey organization. Okay. As part of that initiative, the San Jose Sharks decided to wear pride jerseys in support of the LGBTQIA plus 
community. I didn't actually, uh, real quick, could you look these up? The San Jose Sharks pride jerseys. I'd like to see what these look like. San Jose gay jerseys. I didn't say gay jerseys. I said well, pride Well, I know jerseys. how to use Google. <laughs> <laughs> Gay jerseys. Wow. <laughs> what? Let's take a look at that. <laughs> what the fuck? For those of you listening, has love written on the uh, shark. Has love written on the hockey sticks. Why they make it look like the sharks holding two hockey sticks? <laughs> Let's describe this. Hey guys, want to play some fucking hockey with me? For audio listeners, there is a blue shark holding two shots. No, it's a gayer color of shark too. It's, it's, it's like multi like a light colors blue and teal and pink. Oh, it it's is a trans it is, shark. It is a pink sh shading on the yeah, shark. Yeah, that's, well, that's a gay shark. That's subtle inside of a heart. Not subtle. Not and for the, me. The shark is holding two hockey sticks. Both. Oh no! With look the at word the. Flag. Look at this. Yes, and then Look. it has the oh, no. <laughs> all oh, no. the colors of the pride flag. Of course, we know red, orange, yellow, green, purple. Normal. Black. No, uh, black's not. That's supposed black, to be there. and then light yeah, blue, light pink, white, and then I think yellow. I think that's for intersex on the hockey sticks there. So that is the San Jose Sharks pride <laughs> jersey, <laughs> not the San Jose Sharks gay jersey, as Mr. It's Masterson has put it. It's a little different. Mm, nope. Anyway. Bigoted, bigoted. Uh, unfortunately, not everybody is a fan of the new pride jersey, including goaltender James Reamer, uh -oh. who put out this statement. For okay. all 13 years of my NHL career, I have been a Christian, not just in title, but in how I choose to live my life daily. I have a personal faith in Jesus Christ who died on the cross. For okay, whatever, a bunch of God stuff. Oh, uh, no, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> what was his quote? What was his quote? He died on the cross for my sins and in response asked me to love everyone and follow him. I have no hate in my heart for anyone and I have always strived to treat everyone that I encounter with respect and kindness. Liar. In this specific instance, I am choosing not to endorse something that is counter to my personal convictions, which are based on the Bible, the highest authority in my life. I believe every person has value and worth, and the LGBTQIA plus community, like all others, should be welcomed in all aspects of the game of hockey, says goaltender James Reamer. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Put the shirt on. <laughs> No. You playing hockey, you playing fucking games <laughs> for millions of dollars. Wear the fucking jersey you well, paint in the this ass. Is Go where fuck yourself. I'm gonna disagree with you, Dick, because this is the problem of compelled speech. The idea that the government or your employer or anyone Those are two very not, different things. Well, still should not be able to force you to practice speech with which you disagree. Now, this is a very interesting topic because it goes back to the history of our country. Obviously, some people are saying, yes, just wear the jersey. Yeah. But is this not unlike the famous baking of the gay cake? You must make a cake in support of gay marriage. No, it's not the same. I think it's a little, it's not there's the some same. similarities. What are you getting paid for? To be a hockey player and wear whatever. Yeah, but like, why should you're just because you're a hockey player? If they come out and they're like, we want you to wear a jersey that says praise Allah, couldn't you be like, well, I'm a little uncomfortable Shut with that? Shut the fuck up and put it on. <laughs> That's what we're doing. So, what do you have? They're, like, uh, you got, like, uh, you get hired at Disneyland to wear the Mickey Mouse suit, and you're like, well, actually, the fucking Mickey Mouse suit doesn't, it doesn't uh, fit with my religious sensibilities. So, I'm just going to walk around with no head. I, Is that I, cool? I understand the argument that you're making that maybe as part of an organization you have to follow the uh, beliefs and spirit of that organization no you just have to put it on <laughs> put the you fucking jersey, the jersey on <laughs> say whatever you want I would say that I think it is an infringement of your free speech right. I don't think employers should be forcing people to wear a black lives pin or a pride flag or any what of kind it. of employers uh, I mean, I can understand. What, what do you think? You go I to Applebee's and everyone's wearing sweatpants? It's like, well, you know, <laughs> that's the a, slacks where. That's a professionality thing. That's a unit. This is not a professionality. You can be a professional and not wear a gay shirt on your fucking. Gay shit sells. <laughs> what do you mean? It sells. If you go to into a lawyer's office and he's no. wearing sweatpants, you're like, I don't fuck. I don't trust you. You go to a hockey game and they got gay shit all over everything. You're like, yeah, I'm fucking. I'm yeah, honey, buy that. honey, my wife loves all the gay shit. I will say if anyone in the audience wants to find a way to get us these pride jerseys, I would wear that every day. No, <laughs> hockey jerseys are expensive. They are. They're like they're like 100, 100, 200 bucks. Yeah. 
Uh, well, I wanted to bring up some other famous compelled speech cases. Okay. In fact, the Supreme Court's decision in West Virginia State Board of Education versus Barnett from 1943 is a classic example of the compelled speech doctrine at work. In that case, the court ruled that a state cannot force students to stand, salute the flag, or recite the Pledge of Allegiance. That's one of my classic problems. It's a Another example though. of compelled speech. It is the government. You're right. Oh, All right. yeah. So there are some tricky, some tricky business there. The court also ruled in Woolley versus Maynard in 1977 that state officials cannot punish a man for covering up the motto "Live free or die" on his license plate. So that's also well, very interesting. Yeah. Because they're forcing you to agree with this uh, government. Now, I, I, I obviously hate right. that shit all over license plates. Yeah. I'm like, oh, look, it's a flag. Save the children. Get the save the children license plate. Yeah, and put, like, kill, you know, people that I can't say on. The, that's a good license plate. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's been the reverse where certain groups have said we want a Confederate flag license plate on behalf of the yeah, daughters of the Confederacy. And they okay, said no. Whatever. Sure. And they, well, they wouldn't let them have it. <laughs> I will say one of the more interesting ones I found out about was Johans versus Live Stock Marketing Association from 2005, in which the court ruled that the government could force beef producers to fund beef advertisements. So you ever see those ads on TV where yeah, it's like beef, it's what's beef. for dinner? Yeah. If you have, you know, if a cattle ranch or you're a beef farmer, you are forced to subsidize the government's promotion of beef in the marketplace. <laughs> Which to me sounds beef is like beef is really fucked. How so? Uh, they stop like local farmers from producing beef to sell directly. They yeah. just won't. There's so many like they make it so expensive for them to just with regulations or something. Yeah, and yeah. they just don't allow it. Because um, what they want to keep the price of beef high? Because they just get money from these fucking criminals. <laughs> the beef producers. Yeah, they all pile their money dick, in. Dick, like, yeah. dick, dick. We've gone after a lot of people on this show. Yeah. Don't go after the beef council. We're, we can't oh, take that okay. fight. We don't all got right. the money for that fight. Okay. All right. All right. They'll break our fucking knees. So what? You think Kaepernick like kneeling at the national anthem? You think that's fine? And he couldn't just be fired? Mm, you have to think about I that. Think about it. I think it's stupid. Yeah. I think. I think. Honestly, the worst thing. Which that part is stupid about all it? All of it's stupid. All of it. Yes. Like kneeling. The worst for thing black that people. ever happened to sports was when the government said, uh, "We're going to give you a bunch of money to do all these patriotic displays to try and get people hyped for the military." Yeah. Which I think started around like 2000. Because originally the Pledge of Allegiance. Uh, teams were not on the field for that, if yeah. you remember. Now they have to sit there and, and then they had to come cry. out and go, like, yeah, those, the troops, man, the fucking troops, man. They did that during the halftime show for what's that guy who got killed by friendly fire in Iraq? I hate, if I get too drunk, oh, Pat Tillman? Yeah, Pat Tillman. Oh, God. I They're wish, there was a, I, wish I could meet him in hell and kick him in the balls. <laughs> and and then I, wish, I wish I could meet the guy that <laughs> shot Pat Tillman in hell. Is he still alive? The guy who shot Pat Tillman? Yeah. We Is he still alive? He's probably still alive. I would alive. love to find him and suck his cock <laughs> and swallow his cum. If I could find the guy who killed Pat hold Tillman. Hold on, hold on. What? This is another thing that we're going to get in trouble. What do you mean? You want I'm gay? <laughs> no, because why do you want to celebrate the guy who killed Pat? Stop it. This Pat is, Tillman? This is worse than what uh, I... Because is, Pat, Pat yeah. Tillman was like a... a traitor? Um, he was like a poster boy for... Yeah, well, but he didn't all, want dumb. to be... He, no, he quit vol well, he voluntarily. He voluntarily, he voluntarily joined, but then he didn't. He get there and he said this sucks. Okay, yes, but that's no, 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 no. Saying it's saying it sucks when you're already in is not. That doesn't wash away the sin for me. He people was get, he, people got sold a bill of goods on during that whole Iraq thing, man. Yeah, making mistakes, making wrong thinking should be punished by death. <laughs> It doesn't matter if you if you think you're wrong, you're uh, just a more emboldened I don't know dumb I, person. I don't know if I'm on, I don't know if I'm No one is on board with what I'm saying. <laughs> because everyone is afraid of being wrong. And yeah. they just want to be whatever all the time. And they think everyone has this agreement like, well, if you're yes. wrong, you can just say it and you're fine. No. <laughs> you can wrong. I think you can fairly say Pat Tillman, you know, allowed himself to be propaganda for the war effort. 
act. Yeah, and maybe death. realize yeah. too late that that happened. Yes. I don't think you should say, and I want to blow the guy who killed him. I don't him care. I'll do it. By accident <laughs> on the battlefield because then. How do we know it's by accident? <laughs> maybe he was just annoying. Maybe he got paid by the government to do it to well, shut this Pat problem has All gone off the is, rails. I'll suck his cock. Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. Well, for those of you out there who maybe think that you working for an organization, you should not be forced to go along with every initiative that your employer decides upon. They're selling seats, though. Like, the, the Christ shit is more annoying than the, than the jersey shit. No. Like, hey, can everybody, can you guys all wear this gay jersey stuff? Like, we're selling. Well, I think I can say that the justification of my God makes me hate gay people. I'm like, yeah, well, that's stupid. But I'm also, I personally object to that jersey because it's got the shitty pride flag on it, which I've discussed on many times is a fucking crime against graphic design. And the fact that we keep fucking adding triangles to it, like it's going to get better. It's funny. It's not <laughs> funny. It's horrendous. It's like literally, it's the problem I talked about the last week where I'm like, minority. Just keep asking for stuff. Man, it's transphobic. And that you're nobody this can shit. just say, I think we got a pretty good pride flag already. I don't nah. think we gotta add more shit to it. We do, that's transphobic. You're right. Um, Put a thousand more triangles on you it. You watch a lot of hockey? No, I like hockey. So you just like don't you just want this hockey guy to be able to not wear a jersey? I can empathize with the desire. What about Kylie Irving that didn't want to get vaccinated. What do you think about that? It's not speech. Oh fuck. <laughs> Stop it. Stop with this. Him link linking to that anti-Semitic uh, um, black yeah, Israelite thing. That's more interesting. That is worth well, Are discussing. you pro or against Jews? <laughs> well, I'm pro-Jews <laughs> for the most part. Um, I don't, I, again, yeah. the, the he got suspended for that shit. Yes, the punishment was obscene for what he did. What uh, do you think the punishment should have been? Nothing. 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 Yeah. yeah. What yeah. about the vaccine thing? The vaccine, look, they can say we ha we have data that we need to keep a healthy league and we don't want other people to get sick. And if you're on it, what? There's there's health regulations for anything. If a, if a boxer doesn't make the weight class, they don't let a box for fun. It's a not safety of the health. It's, it's it not is. a safety issue. It's because no one wants to see a 500 pound guy <laughs> box a girl. <laughs> it's not a safety issue. Sports have regulations for safety. There's certain things the athletes have to adhere to. That's not a so matter you know, of that's not a matter of free speech. So compel compelled speech is bad, but compelled injecting shit into your body is fine. It's not compelled. You not do it and then but then you're unemployed you're still employed once it, once the health crisis is over you get to come back well once the gay crisis is over well that's never going to be <laughs> over buddy so that's when you better make a decision quick <laughs> my problem dick is compelled speech vote it up <sighs> okay get the um, vaccine um <laughs> Still, get a thousand of them. <laughs> I don't care. Here's my problem: loud music in bars. Mm. Um, I identify with this problem. How loud not, was that even stupid worse. shithole fucking comedy club? No, that was fine because there was no music. Yeah, fair it's enough. the music. Fair enough. They they pack live bands and uh, live bands are somehow worse yeah. than the music. They well, pump the acoustics through. in these places are terrible. They make your they're not built to make music sound good. Ears bleed. Yeah, and everybody who's in there working has earplugs. Even some girls will bring earplugs just, to the bar. Is a girl, yeah, and she's bringing. She's like, oh, I, I brought earplugs because it gets loud in there. That's so like, okay. So so, that, <laughs> so don't go to that. So bar. guys are competing <laughs> with the mu Guys are competing with the phone first yeah. of all, and now you've fucked them with the music because they can't fuck. You can't hear anything. Yeah, you cannot hear. You cannot hear anything. That anybody's saying. And then it's so bad that girls are having earplugs in. <laughs> so how are you going to play any games? You can't. So you can't. what are you even there for? You're listening to like a muted. You can show her a picture of your penis on the cell phone. Hope yeah. she reacts positively. You just show her like flashcards, like download, like Caillou's fucking yeah. learning. <laughs> okay. What do you think about this? <laughs> yeah, pretty good. Well, thumbs up. Thumbs you gotta down. Learn sign language, I Respond guess. with one of these. Click one of these buttons to see if you. Yeah. Get the so scale, the happy that. face scale. How you feeling about tonight? <sighs> Give her a knob. Um, I looked it up, and everything I saw was some kind of like Egg Council's cope 
post about I would not them. be surprised if the volume of bar music has gone up over time as the uh, IQ of the population has depleted. You really think it's the IQ? Stupid people like loud music because they don't have to try and make conversation, which they're bad at. I think they just don't remember anything different. Like, like, oh, yeah, go to a bar. Yeah, it's, like, so deafening that you can't hear anybody or anything. Uh, that's normal. My favorite social situation is the uh, the exciting sing-song of human language, of having a discussion, banter with my yeah. friends and yeah. discussing the topics of the day, making each other laugh. And I think dumb people are bad at that. So yeah. they go to a place where they can crank the music as loud as they possibly can and go, yeah, this place is cool. Do you think they have a choice? No, because they're stupid. They're stupid. <laughs> I don't know. I hadn't considered that. That it's stupid people who like loud music? Yeah, because everywhere, everywhere I go, it's like, this is just intolerable. And it's not because I'm old. It's like, this is, like, I mean, there's girls there with fucking earplugs in, so I know it's not me. I'm like, you, well, cause you're somehow a high, you've been crafted yeah. to show up at this place with earplugs. You're a high-functioning alcoholic. Thank Most you. people are low functioning alcoholics. <sighs> Alcohol makes them stupid and slow. Hmm. So they're not there. Alcohol does not make me slow. No, but them, they go, they got a bunch of drinks in them. If somebody comes up to them, they go, well, how, how do you feel about the uh, current humanitarian crisis in Uganda? They go, uh, uh. so instead they just want, you know, to crank the jukebox up and go, oh, yeah, I like the song. I like music. It's the live band. Play that new Tim Pool song. Play, play <laughs> Bright Eyes for me. Bright Eyes. Here's some stats. Hit me uh, with them. Bar owners, when they went from between 72 decibels to 88 decibels. Uh, at 90 decibels is the sound of a leaf blower, by mm. the way. So that's what you're, that's, that's what, what you have with. at a bar. Yeah. At all times. I wonder if people order more alcohol because there's nothing else they can do. Yes. So this is the this is the survey that yeah. is causing all of this. Uh, after so they they did this they did this thing seventy decibels to eighty eight decibels. Uh, then they measured people who left the bar after each uh, participant left the bar. Sound levels were again manipulated in another random trigger. Blah blah blah. blah. Um, when the bar was loud, they ordered an average of three and a half drinks. And took 11 minutes to finish uh, compared to an average of two and a half drinks and 15 minutes. minutes. Ah, see, because by destroying. So squee squeezing out. You're just sitting there fucking pounding. They're destroying human conversation. See, if I'm talking yeah. to you, I'm not focused on my drink. I'm not guzzling it down because there's nothing Can't else I can do. Can't get distracted. Yeah. If anything, if the bar banned cell phones, then there's only you only can drink. I bet with cell phone usage, bar revenues have gone down because now people are like, "Ooh, I can play on my fucking phone instead of drinking." Instead of drinking. Hmm. I don't know about that. I think I, I would be interested to see that, but it does it's feel a big jump, though, man. That's one entire drink with ten uh, less than ten decibels. That's like double the volume. Yeah. So normal volume to leaf blower. Volume. This is why I hate. I, this is why I don't go to bars a lot because a lot of them are just too loud. We should. Make, there should be a law. Stopping they should have it. to. They should have to post outside what decibel level each bar should be ranked yeah. according to what decibel level they play the music at. And then we're gonna. And then have I can to look it up on Yelp, and I can go. I don't. I want bars with a under seventy decibel limit. Yeah. And those are the bars I will go to. And then we're gonna have to explain to women that more me is worse. Right. That'll be the hardest part. I'm only going to go to bands that have a ban on Tim Pool related songs. I'm tired of them getting played. Every, everywhere I go, they're playing those new Tim Pool hits. They won't let them play them. They won't <laughs> That's let why they have to take them off band it. camp. Yeah, they took it off. Such heavy rotation. And nobody drinks because they're transfixed by his by angelic his singing voice and political uh, messaging. <laughs> Of civil war. Oh man, yeah. I feel bad. I feel. I was telling Dick, I'm like, can we rip on Tim Pool's music? Because we had Phil Labonte come on, and he's it's awful though. He literally features on the new track. He's on that Bright Eyes track. I don't know what he's doing. I mean, he's a singer though. I didn't hear him singing. I think he Jeffrey comes in at Johns the end. Was in Ferris Bueller, and he's a pedophile. So, so what are you going to do? Anybody could be in anything. We're not calling Phil Labonte a pedophile. <laughs> Let's be clear. Just saying. <laughs> Morgan Freeman was in Cuties. No, he wasn't. How do you know? I don't know. You're you right. don't know. He might be. He might be. He's their coach. 
We should spread that rumor and see how many people believe it, because I bet they would. Let's just edit the IMDb. <laughs> so then somebody says, no, he wasn't. How do you know? Did you watch it? Yo. He's uncredited. <laughs> Did you watch it? He comes in at the end and teaches him to work. You girls danced so well tonight. I wish I could say I it, wish I could say. The girls danced a good dance, but they got dirty. <laughs> <laughs> the sisters took it to them. <laughs> I will say, what's get his, busy twerking or get busy dying? Carl Spitali does a great fucking uh, Morgan Freeman. He could have done it for you if you went to Chrissy Mayer's show and you weren't so afraid of it. Why her. wasn't Josh Denny there? Well, anyway. Don't try to. <laughs> I fucking do not believe you that it was at the venue. That is such a dumb reason. Nobody it believes that. It was the venue. I didn't. Go look at the venue. Bring up pictures of the venue. Look up the Sunset Lodge. You can't even find pictures of the fucking N-word, place. word I was at I the think, venue. I, don't I think know that, what the venue was. I don't think it's a legal venue. It's not on Yelp. It's not anywhere. Who fucking cares? What I don't want to go to some venues? shit shack in the middle of nowhere and get Why? stabbed to oh, listen stabbed. to Chrissy Mayer tell a joke about how the homos so are going to run up kids and steal or whatever your video. Video games. Look at this guy. He's got some All good right. stuff over there. Ah. Maybe she should tell some Okumia's classics. Like what? <laughs> like something about all the black people or whatever the fuck's going oh. on on his Twitter. Kumia's off the rails, I gotta say. Why? Go to his Twitter. He's nuts. Well, what are the reparations for then? If we're not doing, <laughs> you can say whatever you want. I support reparations because I'm going to say a lot I of stuff. I just see the stuff Kumia's tweeting and I keep thinking, I'm like, oh, Carl, you're going to talk to your boy. <laughs> What is he saying that's so bad? Yeah, let's just put it this way. Go on Twitter, type in compound boss in okay. the search engine, and then put F slash N. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Don't actually what do you t- mean? <laughs> what do you mean compound boss in the search bar? Just to compound, compound boss, one word, boss. one word, and okay. then space. Space. F slash N. F slash N? Yeah. What do you mean slash? What's that? Well, you'll see pretty quick. Just walking through. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, Kumia, what are you doing, buddy? <laughs> there's like, there's a lot of these tweets. <laughs> <laughs> like like one or two would maybe be okay, but oh. holy lord! <laughs> uh, what was happening on March? <laughs> you can't read any of these. This will be on the Rumble edition of the show, guys. We'll this read was before we'll read the, Anthony Cumia's tweets. Cornstarch stuff. This is way before the cornstarch stuff. He has some <laughs> tweets that are just f slash n. <laughs> Uh, don't forget that Anthony Acumia, Gavin McGinnis, and Josh Denny will be doing their live comedy show coming to L.A. April, first week of April, I believe. So I should be Are there. Are you that? Or yeah, is the venue yeah. nice enough for you? Yeah, I think we're both going. You going to come? Well, so, <laughs> so if those guys were at the Sunset Lodge, you wouldn't go, right? No, if they were at the Sunset Lodge, come on. It's Ga- Gavin and Acumia. Uh, that's like, oh, I just saw Chrissy Mayer. She came into the show. Yeah. You know? What, Gavin? Those, you think Gavin Gavin's is like, like a bigger, you know, and Kumi's uh, yeah. a bigger thing. That would be a bigger draw. Anyway, uh, okay. Kumi's really not happy on uh, Twitter, I'll tell you that. Why would he be? I don't know. I really don't know. F slash N's. He's got right. a lot of problems with F slash N. Let's put it that way. Well, Dick, I got a final problem for you. <laughs> Okay. Um, my Get your super chats in now. Do Get not super make, chats Do in. not make us wait at the end <laughs> while you're fumbling with your credit card. Get them in now, Dick. Uh, I had a tweet. Actually, do you want to look up a Twitter account real quick? You Angel's had a tweet, Twitter. or is it? No, it was oh, okay. just a Twitter thing. All right. Uh, I think it's Wagey L's. Okay. You can't even spell Twitter correctly. Jesus Christ, Grandpa. How did I spell it? He spelled it T-I-Twit Skicker. Way G-L's. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay. This is a uh, Twitter account. These tweets are protected. Well, never mind. I don't actually know what it was. The mm, point is, you know Dick, how I feel when I'm trying to bring your tweets in. I know. Well, the problem was the original person who tweeted this deleted it out of shame. 
This was a waitress who said, we need to ban Europeans from traveling here until they learn how to act. And she posted a picture of a receipt from the restaurant in which she works. Now, looking at it, the total of the bill was $694.62, for which she was given a $70 tip. Like 11%? Wait, yes. Little seventy dollars. It was six hundred dollars. No, 70? it was a seven hundred. About seven hundred dollars. Oh, it's got a seventy dollars tip. Like 10%? About ten percent. About ten percent. That's fine. Okay. And says, "LMAO, I fucking hate Europeans. Sometimes on God, this table just left seventy dollars on a seven hundred dollar check after chilling for hours. My manager even asked about their service, and they were over the moon about my service. So he explained the customary tip is twenty percent." And they said, okay, and left. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My problem is whiny waitresses. Bitch, you got paid $70 to do what? Nothing. Bring some plates to a table. Oh, yeah. it's so hard. Oh, oh my God, this sandwich weighs a million pounds. How am I possibly going to? That's fine. That was two hours of work. 70 bucks says $35 an hour. I doubt they were there for eight fucking hours taking up your whole whatever. Uh, you... Just, I always hear every waitress I've ever known has complained about their tips. It's the only thing they have they to talk about. They pretend to. Yeah, they, they go, get they oh. get tons of money. They go, I had an eight top today, and he and I brought him extra halibut, and then he didn't even give me a blah blah blah. Yeah, because you're not what you're doing is not that hard. Yeah, at all. But they will tell you it's the hardest profession. People don't understand how hard it is. Because I said on yeah. Twitter, I said, well, I don't know. It's not a great. It's not you know gonna break the your your bank account. It's not gonna make you the richest woman on earth. But I think thirty five dollars an hour about. I'm sure you had other tables. You probably balanced it out. Uh, who cares? Who cares? Fuck you. Well, Twitter user Does Langston. You enough, do you have enough money to buy a rope? Because <laughs> that's all you need. Do you have enough money to invest in a real career that isn't just carrying food around? They make tons of money. They make a good amount of money. Teachers and all they do too. is complain. They're all complain. They well, always they complain. Gotta, you always got to bring up teachers. Te- they make tons of money, and they're always complaining well, about how true. they don't. They make that's way true. more than they deserve. Some of the teachers. Way and, more. They do make a lot. I had one fellow respond to me and say, when I was a waiter in fine dining, I had something to the tune of 21 steps of service I had to follow. Oh, my God. 21 steps of service. Let's think about that. Wow. Identify the food. <laughs> lift the food Read up. Read the food. Don't forget the fork. Oh. Bring a guy a napkin. That's a Give impossible. a guy a, <laughs> Oh, my God, all these steps. When they're done with the food, I got to pick the plate back up. Oh, no, a busboy does that. Oh, you're right. You're right. He doesn't do that. That's you true. don't want to get contaminated food. No, you might have to calculate the bill for them. Yeah. You might have to refill their the glass computer. of water. 21 steps wow. of service. And he had to tip out busters, bartenders, and hosts slash hostesses, so you had to give them, like, five bucks out of your tip. Oh, my God. God. I had another guy tell me, you don't understand, I had to memorize dozens of wine pairings. Oh, my God. Can you imagine how hard it is to recommend a beverage to a person? I can't. I don't even care. (laughs) That's incredible. (laughs) Think about any other waiter. Think about trying to make that argument in any other. I'm having the the cheeseburger. What do you think? Well, that would go great with a Sprite. I'll take an extra $20 for that expertise. (laughs) It's the it's part of your job. Who Which cares? wipers work with my car? Those ones? <laughs> Those the ones. A's, not the OE. Okay, thanks. Here, uh, uh, can hello? I get a can I get a little something? A... Every job requires you to have some expertise. I hate waiters. A little bit of knowledge in what you're waitresses. doing. It's like black people. Like, no one says anything because they're afraid of, like, waiters, waiters and waitresses spitting in your food. Yeah. You know? Well, you can't say it to their face. Yeah, I can't even at say the, it on the show because like cause you'll get noticed at a restaurant. Yeah, maybe you know. <laughs> I don't really care about eating the spit either. Mm. I just don't want it in there. Right. I don't want it to be like a game. Yeah. Who gets the most spit in my food? <laughs> it really just. I remember all these waitresses that I've known or girlfriends who have been waitresses, and they go, "Wait, people just don't respect how hard it is." And I go, "Bitch, this is like literally the simplest job I could think of." Yeah. All right. I delivered. I, I I had a tipped wage. I delivered pizza 
Oh, you did? I made the pizzas, made it. If anything, that was harder. Well, I already told you we do the classic thing where you cut out a strip from the middle and then push the pizza together. Oh, yeah, yeah. A couple chicken wings might go missing (laughs) now and again. Uh, But that, I would say, is harder than being a waitress. Now I got to figure out how to get, like, where the people live and. Half the time they don't open the door. And now I'm becoming the entitled waitress because you know what? It wasn't that hard either. Just driving around. It's just driving around, dicking around, bringing a pizza to a guy. Yes, occasionally there'll be a thing where the guy doesn't pick up the fucking phone or the guy doesn't tip. But the way these people go on, like they're the most uh, underappreciated slave laborers in the history of America. Uh, I hope they get replaced. I, by I, dogs God, or monkeys or something. Robots, please. Or please. Robots. Please. I hate being in a wait, uh, restaurant and I finish my drink and I'm just sitting there just like, when's that bitch going to come back and refill well, my drink? Well, that's the worst. Like, you could just get up and get your yes! stuff. Yes! Just put a fucking soda fountain. Every restaurant that has like a, like a self-serve yeah. beverage thing. How is yeah. that not the standard? I don't know. Just let people get up Women. and get a fucking drink. No, I got to fill it up. And then if you like want it... You know, sometimes I'll be like, hey, can I get like an Arnold Palmer? And then they make it terribly and they don't mix, you know. It's like all iced tea, no lemonade. What am I doing here? I could have just made it myself. Would have been better. If I want the Tabasco, just put the Tabasco in an area where I can locate the Tabasco instead of sitting there for 10 minutes waiting for you to bring me Cholula I said Tabasco. What are we doing here, people? Come on. You know, Seinfeld dated that 17-year-old when he was 38. But we got to cancel Justin Roiland for some fucking reason. Seinfeld gets to have a fucking B movie. Justin Roiland. He kicked his wife's ass. Good. She probably did something wrong. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter because he got tossed out and everybody's mad at me because that's what I said. Doesn't matter what she did. Doesn't matter what she did (laughs) because she's a woman. So you guys got to come out hard right away. Yeah. It's not, oh, he's innocent. It's, well, she deserved it. She's the reason that... I had so many people mad that I defended Justin Ryland. They were furious. Yeah. They went, this man is a woman beater. Yeah. And now they're calling him a pedophile, of course. Pedo jacketing voted up. This is the society we live in where we got to tip these whiny bitches and a man who makes a funny cartoon gets thrown under the bus. They're bigots. I don't like it's it, It's these sir. women. They're going after. They're going after... It's because he's a man. Mm-hmm. If he's a woman, no one would care that he's texting a... 16 year old girl no. saying the n-word and stuff they'd think that was cool beating all most most if not all lesbians are beating each other right uh mindy k if mindy kaling was doing all this stuff no one would care mindy kaling got a uh award from the president for what for being a outstanding voice in comedy or something the president's giving that award yeah or the vice president i don't know it's probably yeah. a vice presidential thing. Who is the... Oh, C- Camel Harris. Kamala. Kamala Harris. She got a cop award. She got to be a cop for a day. <laughs> Mindy Kaling got to drive around the she city. She got to drive around shoot shoot shooting black guys. That's <laughs> cool. Kneeling on them and shit. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, these waitresses are... There's obnoxious. such a pain in the ass. I don't even think the waiters are as bad as the waitresses. It's really... I hate the whole conversation It's because it's a female-dominated it profession, I think. Those are always bad. Yeah. Nurses, waitresses... Because women and will get together jobs. and convince each other they're the victims. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. <laughs> um, I just really, I, I hate hearing about like the the guys will say like, well, actually, you know, what you pay for is the good service. It's like, can you just like shut up? I like, saw, you just do you know, it because you feel ha- like you have to. Cernovic was talking about how he ordered, you know, like a $700 bottle of wine. And the waitress is like, well, you know, as a percentage of the bottle of wine, he's like, bitch, you opened a bottle of wine and poured some whatever. I gave you 50 bucks. I saw that tweet, though, and I didn't want to be like a reply guy, but you're not supposed to you're not supposed to tip on on liquor at all. No, I don't. Do you tip at the bar like a dollar? I'll tip like a dollar. A dollar. Yeah. Only one dollar for every drink. Whatever the drink is. And that's I need I need the liquor, the food. I don't need like <laughs> over and over. I need right. it once. Right. But you're not supposed to. T- you're not supposed to sip on the liquor. I don't uh, know. How and works. I don't because my. I'm not buying. I'm never going to buy like yeah. two hundred dollars to the to the bill. Yeah, I was going like, to say your liquor bills are much more than mine, and I'm definitely never going to drop seven hundred bucks on a bottle of wine. So that is not a situation I will ever encounter. Yeah. 
In fact, if I order a $700 bottle of wine by accident, I will smack that bitch in the mouth and run away because I'm not paying $700. $700? No! Who gives a shit? Give me that Charles Schwab shit. It all tastes the fucking same. <laughs> Charles Schwab. Not Charles Schwab. What's the, what's the cheap wine? <laughs> Too bad, Chuck. <laughs> Let me get a bottle Tito. of Charles Schwab, no, no, please. No, 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 no. <laughs> Um, I'll take a bottle what is, of what uh, is two buck check. What, what was it? <laughs> it's Charles. Uh, Charles. Uh, fuck, I can't God, remember. Two buck. Ch- let me see. That's that I'll take a bottle Trader of H and R Block. Shit, Charles please. Shaw. Charles Shaw. You know that stuff was that stuff was like stems and antifreeze. That's not. It's all the same. You can't be. No, it's not all the same. I'll take a big old bottle of Charles Swab to go, please. I'm a classy gentleman. Give me some CDs. Give me some five percent CDs. <laughs> Give me some paper too. I want some paper. Give me some paper. Yeah. I'll take some of that Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac. Well, uh, whiny waitresses is, of course, my problem. Our problems tonight have been. Somebody's got to fucking smack one of those waitresses. I think they will, and they should. Transphobia. You go. It's a zero tip, and it's this box. If you're upset about the tip, there's a box that you can open. <laughs> I'm going to go to, here's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Every time I go to a restaurant. <laughs> right? I want to be that guy, you know, all these TikToks. It's always like, do you want $5? Do you want the mystery box? Yeah. I'm going to do that, and the mystery box will always be empty. <laughs> <laughs> And I go to the waitress and she thinks it's like a fun TikTok. And I'm like, okay, now do you want a 20% tip or do you want what's in the mystery box? She says, mystery box, there's nothing in there. And I go, well, you chose the mystery box. <laughs> what do you want me to tell you? You had, you could have had 20%. I'm like, you decided to go for it. And you lost. <laughs> have something in the mystery box that just sprays her. <laughs> yeah, it's got like acid in like there. Some shit. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> is that a regular? Is that a TikTok thing? What you're describing? There's a lot of TikToks like guys who like will go around and be like, "Do you want five dollars or this you know mystery, mystery box?" box. I don't want to pull it away, but it's always the mystery box is like something cool, like a hoverboard or AirPods or whatever. I just want the mystery box to literally just be empty. And I go, well, I guess I'm not tipping. <laughs> <laughs> it like feel like a stick, of, like a pack of gum. I go, I guess you picked wrong. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Put your dick in it. Just cut the bottom out. <laughs> this is a really bad. Like you would really piss people off if you did that, but that would be fucking hilarious. Anyway, guys, our problems have been transphobia from Dick. Yeah. Uh, compelled speech from me. Your second problem was um loud uh, loud music and bars. bars. And of course, whiny waitresses. Don't forget to vote on all the problems at biggestproblem.show and check out the bonus episode, Biggest Problem in Super Mario, now available at uh, patreon.com slash biggestproblem and, and back, back by, by slash, slash biggest, biggest problem. problem. Okay, here we go. Let's play a couple of Great these. bonus episode. Okay, okay, Vito. This is a problem more for the veto side of the show. Great. It always is. But my problem is friends who cannot afford a $20 video game. Mm-hmm. Let's say a new game comes out, goes on sale on Steam, Xbox Store, whatever the fuck it's called on PS. Who cares? You go, hey, this game's problem. really fun. <laughs> and it's multiplayer. Yeah. You should get this game. It's on sale for nineteen ninety nine. Can you afford that other adult friend with an adult paying job? Uh, I really love to get it. You know, it's on my wish list and stuff. But, um, you know, this game being on sale and only going for $20, like, that's not big enough of a sale. You know, like, I think I'm going to wait go. until it's it goes go on down. sale for yeah. the, the price of a sandwich in <sighs> four to five years. That's a big sandwich. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, bro. Let me just play this game by myself. Well, let's Again, just buy it for him, man. If you want to play it with him, you fucking You're fucking adult. On the weekend, and you can't afford to spend twenty bucks. You should you buy serious? the game buy for him. The game, if you are, want like, to have the multiplayer experience, buy him a little gift. Can. Maybe he doesn't you. want to play with you. Maybe he just wants to like relax. Maybe he's got a backlog of games that he's already. I think if you want to be the guy who gets a multiplayer experience going, you got to buy the game for all your buddies. I think that's the uh, social contract. Yeah, Vito bought me those magic cards that we and played. You... Oh, we did play with them once. Keon won. Yeah, well. Yeah, that was awesome. You got fucking trounced. Mm. Uh, me and Keon whooped you and Randy. Well, I might have, I might have slow played a little bit, you know, no, try no, to let you guys get back into well, it. Well, that's a mistake. 
Do you That's did, a mistake you that did, you made. You did surprisingly overwhelm our counterspell. I was not expecting that. Because I wasn't paying attention, and then I had that card that I hadn't played. I don't even remember what it did. I can't remember it all, but it was a fantastic game we had. All right. Here's and then I'm one. so glad I bought you the cards, because then after you win, you go, you fucking suck at this. And I'm like, <laughs> bitch, you beat me with cards I bought for you as a gift. Why don't you, you didn't go? make the cards. Why don't you Wizards go? Wizards of the Coast made them. Why don't you go them. graciously go, wow, that was a lot of fun, Vito. I'm you so fucking glad. You fucking You fucking blew it. I'm so glad that you brought us this fun. And instead, you just shit all over me, and I don't want to play magic cards with you anymore. You will, though, because you're addicted. I am addicted. we got to play Commander. Hey, big hey, Vito. Uh, I couldn't wait till next week. I just have another thing. Uh, you, you were talking about, like, you need a clips guy. Vito, just sit down on, like, Premiere for, like, 90 minutes. You edit. You're like, oh, I'm an editor, you know? Sit down and just sit down. the show. Like, what are you doing? There's not going to be a clips guy that knows what's going to be the funny part. You, you Vito, just sit the down podcast. for, like, an hour and a half. Yeah, so just like, sit down. Well, well, just do the thing. You have endless you time. You just do it. How about you just? Sit I down have for been doing it. Just I just have do it. pulled clips. clips for the week. Nah, you, you know, have been vertical for TikTok. You know, I, I edit videos all fucking day on my computer. I know how long this takes, Vito. I know it doesn't take he fucking does. long. To I'll tell. I'll tell him what the, up. Shut up. Put Fuck a you. In it. Here's the difference: is I don't want to re-listen to the show again because oh, somebody has yeah. to listen to the show from front to back and go. That part was genuinely funny. Okay. I don't want to listen to my own fucking podcast twice. You know. Going, nice. oh, I remember when I, well, whatever. Because I, I have to listen to you this first time. This is already torture. I'm going to sip through oh, it's this me that makes it bad. transphobia argument again. Somebody's got to sit. Women aren't, women would never lift a finger for you. I think it's Imagine better. Imagine yourself bleeding in the street, bleeding out because you got stabbed, and there's a woman with a cell phone. You think she's calling the cops? No. I think she's w- texting a guy. <laughs> she's texting a Chad that's going to fuck her and dump I don't know what you're going on about. While you're bleeding out in the street. The point you know? I'm trying to make is I think it's better to have a third party who can objectively figure out what is funny because otherwise I'm just going to clip myself because clearly my jokes are the better jokes. And second of all, I don't want to listen to the show again. Then. And third of all, every week I or every month I put out the bonus episode as a uh, I make a little teaser video for that. Oh, yeah, I that's put out cool. a teaser for Mario. I put that everywhere. It's not like I don't do anything for the fucking show. You got to make stingers, which now I don't have to do because the audience is going to do them. So I I don't think you need to defend yourself this much. I put up clips. Uh, but okay. We do have one guy helping us out, and we'll see if uh, he ends up being the Maybe this guy's in final contender. Hi, Jake. Hi, Vito. My big well, we're not listening to this one. Don't I don't know where what that came from. What the fuck was that? I don't know. <laughs> it wasn't like that when I listened to Are it. Are you sure? Go to the yeah. end. Does it sound like it the whole way through? And then it's, it's just all not messed playing up. at all. Uh, Maybe you downloaded it wrong. How the fuck? Do- yeah, I put on the fucking quasars when I was downloading yeah, it. Yeah, maybe didn't the quasars were fucking it up. Man, you fucked up your voicemail. I don't know how you did it, but you did it. Send it back in, drive through guy, and uh, somehow it's fucked. It sounded fine in Google. Aren't there other ones you can play while you look for no, it? No, I don't care. I don't want to hear any more from these guys. <laughs> well, this has been the biggest problem in the universe. We're going to read your Super Chats. Don't forget to Super Chat the show right now. Man. You should have done it already. Oh, you should have done it right. Oh, yeah. You should have been getting them in. We're going to read through all your comments because we love you guys so much. Thanks to our community. We are currently on track to become a top 200 podcast on Patreon. Please. Oh, really? We're currently number 227 out of podcasts whose numbers are publicly available. Obviously, some podcasts hide how much money they're making because they're ashamed of the free market. But here we are happy to remain public. Uh, we got super chats aren't on there. What do you got to beat? For? We got to beat Carl. We got to beat him. What's Carl at? Is that like uh, he's like 140 something? How much money is he? Thankfully, at? the dick show keeps slipping, so we'll catch up to that pretty <laughs> pretty soon. Our yeah, tickets sold out welcome. at live.dick.show. What happened? Yeah, yeah, they're sold out. Tickets are sold out, but we will see you in Philadelphia. Is there a waiting list in case anybody cancels? I don't know. Well, who's running the fucking tickets? It's just some guys. I don't even know if they really exist. Well, if you want to scalp your tickets, now's the time to Just do it. Just email me. If you have one to sell, email me. Yeah, we'll get it. We'll and try I'll to get people sorted out. Try to find out. another person to buy it from you. You have a mouse right there. I do have a mouse. Jeez, wow, so aggressive today. 
Me? <laughs> <laughs> Koof for two. Thank you all for not killing yourselves. Of course, Koof. Thank you. David Gomez for five. Remember, Vito said he'd vote for Trump when Patreon hit 5K. That's yes. right. 5K for each of us, meaning the Patreon oh, needs yeah, to I hit remember you said that. 10K. Come yeah. on, get us there. Wet Bandit for five. Biggest problem in the universe is being poor. It's actually, I actually agree with that. Wet Bandit for another five. Masterson, will you join Vito in his cardio mukbang live stream? We've been talking about this. What I'll do is doing it, a muck, but you like just eating. So a I'll bunch? just eat a shit ton, and then immediately after, I get on an exercise bike. Why would you do and that? And I throw up all over my because it's entertaining. Have you seen this Nikado avocado kid? He makes like a billion. Yeah, he's dollars. like a gay. Like he's disgusting. I know. You want to be Nikado avocado? I don't want to be on this earth at all. But hey, oh, well, <laughs> at least that's step he one. He broke capitalism. He figured it out. Yeah, but you actually have to record every day if you're Nikado avocado. Yeah, you're right. You don't have that in you to be that guy. Okay. Oh, oh no, <laughs> I don't have it in me to eat like a monster and throw up in front of people. JJ for five. My contribution to the first ever Black Honesty Week was an educational video on stovetop fabuloso. Fabuloso, I believe, is the. Uh, it's like detergent. That's how they're. Oh. That's how they're cleaning their chicken. Black Honesty Week. Jesus they're washing Christ. it with soap. Some people are saying it's a joke. I think some black people genuinely, there's one lady who's like, oh, you just put a little bit of bleach in there. And I think that lady was like genuinely bleaching her chicken. Oh, you think it's a, it's a joke that all those videos of people putting chicken in the sink and putting a bunch of well, soap some, all over it? Right, some black people, and not just black, like Caribbeans or whatever, I don't know, they're like semi-black, uh, they'll wash their chicken with vinegar and limes and lemons which is still stupid and does nothing, and you will never be able to taste the difference, and it does not actually clean the chicken at all. But at least that is a little more like an old folky whatever stupid thing to do than literally taking Dawn dish soap and dumping it Why would they over be your joking chicken. about dish soap, though? Well, because people post, like, TikToks that's like, here's how I make my pizza poppers. First, I piss all over the pizza. And you're like, okay, you're I just trying to piss me off. I have pissing all over a pizza. <laughs> they make these, like— I've seen a lot of— Chicken There's a and lot of like soap. fake cooking videos that are just there to get you to comment on TikTok and go, you're not supposed to do that. You're doing it wrong because engagement makes it go up in the thing. So some of those are fake. Some of them are real, though. Some. All right. We got to ask Scott Adams. We, no, no. No, 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 no. You know, let's think ask so? an actual black person. My mouse is dead again because uh -oh. this well, thing is trash. Uh, Justin Martinez for five. Vito, I listened. Uh -oh. Who who's coming out? Who is this? <laughs> no, Scott. Oh, Scott, no, Vito. no. Vito, I agree with you though. What? Well, black people don't wash their chicken with dish soap. Okay. Uh, because that would be actual work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, stop it. Stop it, Scott. It's not funny. Just go back to making Delbert. Stop it. <laughs> Out of here! And I, I can't he, believe he said that. I can't believe he said that either. Can you show me the super chats, please? Yeah, the mouse. I told you the mouse doesn't work. You gotta like charge it up or something. No, it just goes dead for a second. All right. You don't need to bang it. Well, it's not working. Literally, give me that mouse. No. <laughs> okay. Justin Martinez for five. Vito, I listened to KK Carl talk and Chrissy too, and your points were my exact thoughts. But of course, KK Carl doesn't bring in those clips. Are you talking about the clips of her uh, going to a shitty venue? Because, uh, yeah. What venue have you got? We had, uh, what have you, Steven Torres' house. Wrigley's Comedy Wrigley's Chew. Comedy Chew. Hey, Wrigley's Comedy Chew is a storied institution. There's in the this guy, that kid that threw up in the backyard. <laughs> Steven Torres, of course. The uh, owner and proprietor of Wrigley's Comedy Chew. Petty for five. It's a cookie veto. A lot of people are afraid of women these days. Yeah, you should be. Transphobia. Voting up. Riley Edwards for 220. Veto had a DoorDash date during Chrissy's show. Well, JJ for two. Give this to Mallort for that stinger. No, going to me. Clark Osaurus for two. Biggest problem in the universe is not enough podcast bits. Oh, you got some bits tonight, folks. You got bits for days. Yeah, you got you Tim got a Pool. lot of bits. You got Sergeant Slaughter, Scott Adams. Oh, yeah. Antoids for two. Gee, who would host stand up at some guy's house? Fuck you. Again, Wrigley's Comedy Chew is a fantastic venue. <laughs> A uh, big old mint salad, or should I say tiny little mint salad. We love her, but she put a big number on the board. 100 American dollars for mint salad. I'll support real artists like Vito and Justin Rowland, regardless of what the rest of society says about them. 
Don't forget to support Mint Salad at fansly.com slash tits. Ah, oh, mint salad. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, tits Mint Salad. Tits okay. Mint Salad. Okay. Mallard and Savior are voted up Stinger Saviors for the bucks. night. 11 bucks, good. 11 good. bucks. So you didn't get nine ninety nine. Exactly. Good. Good job. The voted up stinger was made by Chicago-based trash band Malort and Savior, not Malort. Well, there you go, guys. Malort and Savior. Have you ever had Malort? I don't. Is that a beer? What is that? Have you ever had Malort? I have never had Malort. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You've never had Malort. It's a type of liquor. Have you ever had it? I have told you no. <laughs> it's probably the best. It's probably the best. Tasting liquor ever made. I feel like you're lying to me. <laughs> Would I lie? If it was the best tasting liquor ever made, it wouldn't be sitting on that shelf no, that I'm you never it. touch. I'm saving it. I'm saving it. For what? A special occasion. For yeah, someone. Like tricking me into drinking it. No. For someone who's never had Malort before. Because I've had it. I had a bottle. I immediately drank the whole thing because it was so good. All right. Well, do you want a shot of it? Not right now. Uh, good. I don't want you to have any of it. <laughs> but if you ever do want it, I'll consider it. That's right over there. Well, Malort and Savior, I'm sure people can Google them, find their music. Maybe we'll put a link in the description. Yeah. And don't forget, if you have a voted up stinger, to send it to biggestproblemshow at gmail.com. I know a couple others have sent in their stingers, and we may play them on future episodes. We're going to keep them in the pocket. Mid Salad with another five says, I have at autistic boobs on Twitter now. By the way, boys, follow Mint Salad at autistic boobs. Yeah. I like Mint Salad. She's fun. Me too. John Riffs for five. Vito, if Tim Pool ever puts you in a self defense situation or tries to play his music, just grab his beanie. That's his Achilles heel. Did you know that? I think there's like a little alien, like it's got like his brain stems under that hat. Like Men in Black? Yeah. The you take it guy. off, it's got like a little, yeah, little guys are controlling him. Uh, I've talked. Well, I'm talking to what some people on Twitter. We're gonna make an emo core pop punk uh, anthem to uh, rival for real Tim though, Pool. Because I wrote that script of the thing that, of the sketch that we came up with, and now it's like, oh, no, that's we're gonna not do that too. Enough. We're gonna do that too. There's all these things that you're gonna do, but nothing ever gets done. When is this gonna happen? I'm right now finishing up the Indiegogo page for Super Killer. Okay. I'm gonna launch the campaign. Okay. Next, in the next on week April or Fool's two. Day? Not on April Fool's Day. Maybe a couple days after. We should do the blackface thing at uh, Josh Denny's show. We're not show. gonna do the blackface. Yes, thing. we should. Well, that's soon. exactly, exactly. <laughs> Keep going with that. Keep going with that. <laughs> I am not like if I'm gonna do blackface, it's not gonna be at a Gavin McGinnis, Anthony Cumia show. This guy, that's the this last guy place I wanted to do that it. I'm gonna I, do blackface. I said I would never do it. I said I would never do blackface at this show because Anthony Cumia's here, and then Vito comes in with shoe polish, fucking smashes it <laughs> all over my face. I was just excited to go on No Jumper, and right before the show, Dick Madison corners me in the bathroom and forces blackface makeup all over me. Adam, I'm so sorry. Sorry that this I has knew happened. I would say that. That's why I wrote it down. I have a recording of Dick <laughs> saying that he was going to do blackface. I have blackface. a recording of me saying that I was going to trick the I have a legal blackface. document saying. All right. This is a, this is a bit now. It's like the greatest bit. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Uh, superkiller.org. Get on the mailing list. The campaign is coming in the next week or two. Brits man for two. How much money in Super Chats to mail me a crossword? <laughs> ah, not, no way. Not happening. I don't even have any. Get out of here. You do have Winner's Drink, though, now available on the Android app store. Oh, yeah, yeah. How's that selling? Uh, number one. Number one in what? Casual games. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's number one in casual games? It seems like a pretty big category. Well... It is. All right. Number one, winner's drink. Apostrophe or no? Did you ever figure it out? No. Good. Andy Aldridge for five. Don't read my name. Justin Roiland is innocent. <laughs> Sorry, Andy. <laughs> P90. <laughs> well, you'll get over it. P90X plus DVD rip Hindu subs English for five. Says the faint background laughter brings me back to the old days of BPI to you. Candy Randy. No, it's not Randy. It's not Randy, no. no. Coup for five. Dick of a stunning and beautiful woman who can park as elected president. You gotta be fit. Oh! Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I, I, didn't get the I didn't get the R. No, the R didn't come out. Uh, you, I said you, you gotta got be it. five. Yeah, no, 
Oh, you were, you were, did those wrists break the plane? You fucking I'm gonna need an instant replay on that one. Matter, I'm gonna go back. played it. Bullshit. Go up. Fuck you, Koof. God here, damn it. Here. Oh, shit, it's not It's gonna be way behind. Wait! <laughs> I didn't, I didn't get the air. I didn't get the air. It was right there. It was right there. How much money in super chats to mail me a crossword? He's the arrow key on the keyboard. God, he's like left or right. Uh, oh, he didn't come out. Uh, Go left. Wait. <laughs> Mark is elected president. You got to be fat. See? That counts. No, that doesn't count. That's true. You got to be fat. I didn't say it. Give me a reversal. Scott. Oh, stop. Thank you. Almost. But no cigar. What? Really? So close. Oh! Wait, <laughs> listen. Park listen. is elected president. You got to be fit. Oh! Uh, right on the cusp. No, because right I think you can say to be fair. Like, you can't stop a, a fair without saying R. I think to be fit. Like, once you get the ass sound out, you're in. That's it. I'm giving you. Ha I'll give you half credit. You don't give me shit. I'll I'm say, gonna bring an I'll actual. Say, bring I a suck in here, but I uh, no no saying I suck to be. But you're not getting you're the fine to be. F that's fine to be. F you're done. That's it. <laughs> if I get to be, f oh, I, I can't that's say fine. it now. That's All fine. Right. But to be fair, once you get the A out, it's done. I think the audience should decide. Let us know in the comments. Was that a true TBF? Yeah. Or was that a fake out? I'm going to say it's a Let's fake out. Let's ask the guy who paid. See if he feels good. If well, he feels good, then it's... I think then he, then he it's, can feel good. He got, me he got me pretty good. He got you. No, he didn't get me. It's Koof, too. He didn't get, I know it was Koof. He got close, but no cigar. You know, swung out at the plate. Clap, trap to destroy for 10. Dick, where'd you get your shirt? I need it. Um, oh, I don't, these are some, like, like an old Crow Kiwi soup? Farms. Yeah, that's going to be an ancient it's one. It's an old Kiwi farm shirt. Petty for 20. Price per head of cattle has been fairly cons... This is going to be a trick. Has been... F Wait, did I already get screwed? Has been fairly constant, despite the cost of feed increasing significantly. Most of the inflation and price... Okay, this is a trick. I got it. Thank you, Petty. Something needs TBF what? decided. 20 bucks. <laughs> it is 20 bucks. But you already got it, TBF, yeah. out of me. I'll, how about that one goes to that one? Riley Edwards for five fifty. Vito still promotes the vaccine after he can't say that on the show. This is why we get demonetized if we say that. Bob Saget did die. Bob Saget died. Bob it's Saget unknown. was vaccinated. Those was are two vaccinated. statements. Did he die suddenly? He there was a sudden death, and you kind of caused it. I, I'm not <laughs> saying that. It's not what I'm saying. Pop quiz for $19.99. Should have donated an extra dollar, but I'll accept it. Yep. The national anthem is not straight. Yeah, I agree. Very true. Pete Oxenham for $1.99. I love you, Vito. Heart, heart, heart. Heart eyes, stupid emoji, something, something. What is that one right before the... Syringe. Syringe. <laughs> okay. Probably. That's for the vaccine. Me, 04120 for five. I carry earplugs everywhere I go ever since Tim Pool started making music. You got TBF to this lady at the bar. Mm -hmm. Petty for two. Uganda did nothing wrong. Oh! Why are you gay? <laughs> you are gay. I was going to bring in Uganda as a problem, but there's just too much to cover. Why? I need a list of... they got a lot of problems in Uganda. Not they anymore, just they just criminalized don't. homos... Shut up. They just made homosexuality illegal in a million different ways. That's <laughs> uh, not good. Lemon Trash E for GBP2. Jordan Peterson sobbed listening to a live band. That's I can't true. wait. I'm going to listen to that I on gotta my watch show. That. I got to watch that clip. Oh, it's so bad. DK Dead Cat for five. The man who killed Pat Tillman's name is Stephen Elliott. You should get him on the show <gasps> since he does interviews and oh, knows Jack Murphy. Stephen Elliott. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta blow him. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Stephen Elliott, LP. Fuck Pat Tillman. Stop that. What? <laughs> I'm not. He died in. He's a hero. They're all heroes. I'm glad he got shot. All I'm glad he died with friendly worse. fire. This is worse than a uh, Ashley Babbitt. Why? <laughs> Pat he, Tillman. If he would have, if the U.S. government would have told Pat Tillman to rape kids, he would have done it. Hundred percent. He would have shot them at shot their mom and raped the kids. I don't think that's true. I think that's uh, a wild well, assumption. That's, he's in the military. You're supposed to do whatever yeah. they say. Sure. And he had a small dick. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. I heard that. I did not know you felt this strongly about Pat Tillman. I wish I could have killed him myself. All right. If I could quantum leap. Sure. If, they, people say they want to kill Hitler. I would travel back in time and kill Pat Tillman, even though he was killed. Now I, I, know, like, how, now I know how you I feel when Fuck I talk you, about Steve. Ashley Babbitt. Now I get it. 
I finally get it. Um, yeah. Yeah. Wait, I'll, why? You like pro Pat Tillman? I just, you know, he died, unfortunately. I don't think he... Why? Because he got shot and the... Uh, uh, he, was in, he was in fucking Iraq. A lot of guys were in Iraq. And a, too many of them came home. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. You know how expensive those LP Dirty T for one ninety nine. <laughs> Watch out for the seasoning police. Kara Fro, moderator of the stars for oh, 15. Yes. Great show. Thank you, Kara. Bloodman 98 for five. Can't wait to see my favorite all right podcast in Philly next month. Coming to Philly the uh, April 22nd. Going to be great. Uh, we'll see. Is anything else going on before the show? Or, no. I don't know. Well, what are you yeah. doing? Going drinking. Yeah. All I'm saying is like, I don't know, whatever. Do like a meetup, you know? You and Carl <laughs> need to get together. The fans want to see everybody. God damn it for five. Question for Vito. Did you call the cat over to you or did you hunt her down like a Q-tip in your hand like some kind of creepy Steve Irwin? Yeah. I think the cat came to me. Did you put the Q-tip like this? No, I didn't Wolverine Q-tip my cat. I just it's held more it. like X-22, actually. <laughs> What's his? What's Wolverine's clone daughter? X twenty three. Two, only two. See, so yeah, I have two two things in my hand. X twenty three Wolverine. does have three claws. Do you no. know where? Do you know where the third claw is? Friend or pussy? Incorrect. She has two claws in each hand and one in each foot, so she can climb walls. Hey, uh, did you know in that movie, Everything Everywhere, all at the same time? <laughs> yes. Uh, they call, they say a, they they point out a Jewish woman and they say the one with the big nose, and that won an Oscar. Can you <laughs> believe that? Amazing. I did not know that. There's an African American gentleman on YouTube who was upset about my comments on April O'Neil. Why? Uh, because I said she should be hot. She shouldn't be eating so much cornstarch. Right. Well, they got April O'Neil uh, down in the sewer. I should have given that strong. I'll have to bring it in next week. But he goes, I'm not going to listen to what April O'Neil should be like from a, two white guys who have a podcast about Black History Month. And then he showed our show. <laughs> well, you know what? Maybe the, I'm anti reparations now. He should watch about the that? Black History Month. We were very pro Black History Month in that bonus episode. And it's a good bonus kind episode. Of, I guess. Whatever. <laughs> We love the black community. We want you all to get reparations. Princess Dolly, 550, looking handsome as well. 550. Now, that's that's a total, Canadians. Stop with this 499. Looking handsome Thanks. as always, Mr. Masterson. Great show as always, you two. Thanks for the laughs. Thank Is you. Is that a real lady? Princess Dolly. No, it's a trans lady, I'm sure. Why do you say it like that? Because women aren't going to watch this show. Come on. Uh, I don't know. This looks Uzumaki pretty, uh, Uchiha. Looks like a woman. I don't know. What's she got uh, on her playlist? Let's see. J Rog. Is that a workout? What kind of workouts? Uh, it's see a workout mix. Workout. I don't know if I could play this because we'll get. Yeah, because the music. It might have N words or something in it. You betcha. <laughs> All right. I have no idea. Asian lady. Maybe it's a All real right, lady. Thanks. I'm always surprised when actual women listen to this. Horribly misogynist filth that spills out of What's your mouth. What's misogynist about what I said? You're right. You love women. Riley Edwards for 220. Vito I looking good not. with his sharp <laughs> jawline. Thank you, Riley. Aaron went with her for 550. Vito thinking wine plateaus and quality compared to value. Remembers reminds me of someone from a very old episode. They have done studies that oh, wine God. tasters have been presented wines of various qualities and price points and can barely tell them apart. Two buck Chuck is full of fucking chemicals, bro. It's just like Charles Schwab just would not do that to their valuable customers. Sugar. Okay? It's like sh it's like stems and that's all debris. wine is to begin with. It's all it's, garbage. No, it's grapes. It's grapes. Anybody can grow a grape. They've been doing it for a million years. You grow some fucking grapes. You step on them with your dirty French feet and you pour it into a bottle like an animal and people pretend it's fancy. Wine is tr it's grape juice. You drink, Children drink wine. You drink as a treat for yourself every day. A Mountain Dew amp. A 40 ounce of Mountain Dew Is, a, is it a 40? Amp. I don't know if it's 40. It's a pint. Sorry. What, it's not a regular can. It's like a 32. I saw a mystery box video where a woman shaved her head for a quarter. This is the gentleman's sausage. That's, we got to do the mystery box shit. If we just All made, right. let's do mystery box videos, but they're just like the mystery box just has something fucking terrible in them. Like an abortion, like a picture of. <laughs> <laughs>
right? <laughs> I just go, oh, we were going to donate $100 to uh, like a dying kid, but now we're just going to spend it on a skateboard because you picked the mystery box. Uh, David Gomez for two, the guy laughing in the back made stuff even funnier. Let's bring him back. Yeah, I agree. David March is here. The great David March for 22 Canadian dollars. Vito once told me the best thing about electronic blackjack is you can swear at the dealer as much as you want, but security won't throw you out. Somehow I feel like Dick would see that as a challenge. Yeah, if you go to Vegas, you ever play the electronic blackjack with a fake, like, virtual dealer? Yeah. You can just call her anything you want. Yeah, you can go wild at slots. Yeah. Um, Me and David March sat down, and I just kept going, no, see, the, you get better cards if you call her a cunt. And it worked. Ooh. And we did really good. Cunt. Yeah, oh I was like, you God. fucking slut, you cunt, you bitch. And then she was giving us, like, fucking great cards. That's how you break. A little uncomfortable. It's a cheat for code. Me. Oh, okay. Too much. The C word. Monkey Bros for ten went from crappy retail to a quiet solo baking job. I never looked back, and now I can watch the show live. Go Sharks! Pride for the Gay sharks. Gay Sharks. Gay Sharks. Gay. Gay sharks. <laughs> Who's gay? We are. <laughs> gay sharks. Uh, uh, yeah, Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, you're San Jose. Trans sharks and gay and black people. Scroll down a little bit. Let's dun, see. What we got dun, here. Dun, dun. There we go. All right. Let me see if my mouse is working now. It was always working. You're no, it's patient. not. It's not working. Yes, it is. It was lighting up other things. See? It's right there. I can't. I'm using the scroll wheel and nothing's happening. I don't know about, I can't speak to the scroll wheel. Well, I need the scroll wheel if I'm going to scroll, buddy. You just got to fucking calm down. Look, it works. Okay. Eventually. Well, the scroll wheel's broken, and it's slow as hell. Okay, well, you don't get a mouse then. I don't Sorry. get a mouse. Clive Trapped to Destroy for 10. Vito coming undone last episode was hilarious. Glad you see using higher spirits today. Yeah, can you guys stop reporting my tweets to Twitter? Because I always get the, hey, we heard you might kill yourself fucking warning. And I'm like, we just think you're going to kill yourself. Well, yeah, because I post about killing myself all the time on Twitter. Just let me do just that. It's a little attention-seeking. That's what you get. For See, if you keep saying that, I'm going to kill myself, and then it won't be Go attention it, huh? anymore. I'll make money off that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll buy the T-shirt. Uh, let's see. People washing their chicken with vinegar and lemon, says David Gomez for five. It's probably from when chicken was going bad in poor times and they needed to eat it. Yeah, but that doesn't... What does that even mean? What do you mean? It doesn't make it go less bad to rub a vinegar on it. I'll try to make sense out of it. Greedo, fail for 10. Can we have a call to prayer done by Scott Adams? Not for 10 bucks. Not for 10 bucks, but we appreciate it. Uh, we'll add it to uh, add it to the pile. David Gomez for five. I got Vito to say TBF on his stream. This is the other half point for the unfinished fair. Oh, I can say it on my stream. That's not against the rules. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. If you send me, David, if you send me that clip, then that that's I bullshit. Will play. That's not true. I'll I, do it. I don't know. That's I'll do it, bro. They're not going to start hunting me down on other streams. Guess what, Vito? You're not safe nowhere. <laughs> this is bullshit. We'll hunt you down. This is fucking bullshit. You are. All right. Even if there's no recordings happening, <laughs> we'll find you. Someone at the if you're trying to shoplift at Target again and yeah. you're saying to be fair while <laughs> you're shoplifting, you. we'll get you. Well, I think that's gonna become quite a predicament. <laughs> I still enjoy saying it. I've gotta be able to say it somewhere. <laughs> nope. Anime Whole Rapist, what a username for 1999 says money. That's the best super chat of all. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And David Gomez for two. Ashley Babbitt shooting noises. <laughs> Pat Tillman. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley Babbitt. <laughs> George Floyd. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Carter. <laughs> <laughs> I bet I could arm wrestle Pat Tillman and beat him. Well, yeah, Especially no. now. Oh, now he's, those skeletons are pretty powerful. I'd pay. I'd probably pay five thousand bucks for his skeleton. Princess Dolly for five fifty says, "I'm not a trans woman, Vito. Sorry to disappoint. <laughs> I'm just a woman who enjoys your guy's style of horrible misogyny." <laughs> Lol. Keep it up. I. Transphobe. That's a transphobic joke. I Prison. Don't That's a transphobic you. joke. You're probably a guy because no guy would say that. No sane woman would listen to the show. Well, like she's not sane. Yeah, no, that's what true. Do you mean, a sane so you're woman. touching the head like every other woman who listens to this nonsense. <laughs> Guys! 
guys, no show me. woman would suck this cock show and me my, swallow all his cum. Shut up. <laughs> They're all crazy. Look, <laughs> give me my list of my top supporters for the month. Guys, don't forget to support the show at biggestproblem.show. You can vote on all the problems. Join the Patreon at patreon.com slash biggestproblem and get access to the newest bonus episode, The Biggest Problem in Mario. Great bonus episode from both of us. And support the show at back.by slash biggestproblem. Dick, anything else people I can't believe that David Gomez guy opened up the TV, to be fair, to everything that you're doing. Yeah, that's bullshit. And it's not, I don't even, you're going to get like a hundred clips. That is. It's stupid. It's just going to be like a million clips. What are you going to do? Have a montage at the beginning of every show? I think you know that, yeah, I will. Okay, good. You're going to spend all this time editing together a montage and then you're going to change your mind. Play it again. Superkiller.org, sign up for the mailing list now. We'll see you in Philadelphia. And take care of yourself. Thank you for not killing yourself. Bye. Bye. Fucking Tim Pool. Uh, I hate Tim Pool.